I don't know what you said, but he took them things into practice. Yeah. Gil wasn't the first one. He was. You know what I'm saying? All that type of stuff used to go on, man. The league didn't say nothing until, you know, it became a, it, it became public information. You know what I'm saying? With that situation, then that's when everybody tried to tried to come down, man. But, hey, man, y'all see what's going on with Victor Womayama, man? Nah, what happened? Yo, this, this man on this man got a, a blue Barney streak going down the middle of his hair. He don't blonded his hair and got a blue Barney streak going down the middle of his head, man. Bro, I'm off, dude, man. Why do these dudes going to leave and start acting like Kyle Kuzma, man? He a Frenchie, man. That's that's fashion. Nah, man. I mean, my, if you're not doing that your whole life, and then as soon as you come in the league, you you change. Like I seen all them dudes, like Kuz, uh, Jordan Clarkson, all these dudes. Like when you watch them dudes come to the league, bro. They want on that type of stuff, man. As soon as these dudes get into the league, bro, it's like now all of a sudden they change everything about themselves, like start changing the color of their hair, all this crazy stuff. Like everything seems to be the focus of stuff for basketball, man. And now I'm worried about Vic. I was all on Vic thinking that he was going to be this world all-time great. Man, this man, if Ron can pull up the picture, it's online. Bro. All you do is type in Victor with my yama hair. It's, it's, it's just a hair. It's a little hair nod, bro. He'll be all right. Nah, 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 he, he, nah, he, nah, he, nah, that's he, crazy, he, huh? He, <laughs> he, 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 put, put the picture up, bro. Nah, I think he, he got a ball streak going through his head. He literally, <laughs> he literally <laughs> is teaming like, up with Jeremy Sochan, another oh, Frenchman, that's and that's why he did it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a Damo. Damo. Hey, Damo, Damo, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. I don't care what the hell going on. Ain't nobody finna make me do no crazy. Listen, Mars ain't finna do that for no reason. Mars is not finna do that. Would you so, Mars? If, if you give Mars a million dollars today, you think Mars is gonna just change up how he's looking? You think? Yes. Oh, so you are Mars? Yes. yes. Oh, oh. Oh, so, give me a million dollars, I'll dye my hair any color you want. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, 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 no. I'm saying. So you you will sell out for the bag and change your yes home. I'll sell out for the bag yes. that's not Sick that's it. not selling out that's not selling I'll out I'll change my whole I'll take off the hoodies I'll dye my hair I'll go bold I don't care hey Ron I hey, Ron, 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 Ron you trying to get the rat right tail right now for the stream Ron get that shit done it's literally trying to get the rat tail y'all got a rat tail I'm literally like what are we talking about for the bag what are you talking about Dom you got a rat tail I'm working on it it's a working on it I woke up one day, I was like, you know what? I want to do something different. It's not that right. hard. I promise. Bro, this I, man got the rat tail. Oh, oh, no. No. Hold on, you got a rat tail right now? Dom got, got the rat tail right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> that's fire, oh, that's fire, Dom. Right. No, oh, no, hey, hey, Dom, just give me some extensions, bro. It, it ain't no point waiting. <laughs> hey, yo, it's it's, it's 2023. Dom, what's damn near 2030? It ain't no point waiting. Hey, we in the microwave area. Let's go get one right quick. Hey, hey yo, bro, you, you, got you, a I, I, came, kill, I, came, I came with the I came with the golden dome for uh for for about uh six eight months. I had my shit. I had my shit died. It was kind of like in between brown and gold. Though. Nah, but you're not Bob. But you're not doing. Hey, hey, hold on, Ron. Put that picture up, man. <laughs> bro, come on, man. We gotta stop this, bro. Oh, man, he ain't doing that wrong. What's so bad about the young boy? Yeah, 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 Nineteen years old, man. Let the let the man live. Man, listen, my whole thing is this: if you if you wasn't doing that your career, and as soon as you get in the NBA, you start to like, for example, like with Kuz. Like he ended his whole career. As soon as you get in the NBA, you start doing this weird stuff. Like, <laughs> and, 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 and hey, come on, bro. Man, come on, man. Uh, how how, how really old is he? Though? He's, he's, not, he's 19 or 18, 20. How old is he? 19. I'm just saying, yeah. he, he went the oh, whole he, like, he just, he, just super, he just super, you know, at that age, he's he super influ, you know, influential. He, he he with the other kid. You know, he just, and, and not only that, he done, he done jumped up a couple tax brackets too. So he just kind of feeling himself, like, you know. I'm rich out here. My people out here slapping white girls. You know what I'm saying? Britney, oh, Britney, <laughs> hey, Britney, hey, Britney, Spe Britney Spears can't even touch me. So I can do what the fuck I want. I ain't mad oh, yeah. at the kids. I'll see what type of episode it's going to be today. <laughs> do your thing, Bro, Thicke, I'm with you know. if he out here just like Miles Turner. If he was out there pulling yeah, up the yeah, 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 yeah. you, Thicke. It's like over here, man. Don't want to That's why Miles was fly. Hey, Miles said, was fly if we cross his legs, man. He hey, was look, but Mark. But oh, Mar said, oh, but Mar oh, said no, he no, would no, willingly. No. Hold on, did y'all hear what Mar said though? Mar said he would willingly sell out for the bag. <laughs> well, what what exactly do you mean by sell out though? I guess I, I need hey, to know what selling Mar, out is. Hold on, Mar, Mar said that for a million dollars, he would do all anything, any of that stuff they asked him to do, he'd do it. Like dye his hair, all that crazy. Stuff. He said he'd do it. 
I do that shit for about. Yeah, I'm I'm dying my hat. Like I'm changing the way I dress. I don't care. <laughs> so you hold on. You you would put on those pants that Miles Turner had on and all that stuff. Yes, I don't care. God, dog, man. That's Lord, just fashion. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, Ron, I what is this world down. coming to, Ron, man? What is this world coming to, man? Hey, but ticket, the, 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 I'm, I'm not going as far as Dylan Brooks, if you know what I'm saying. Wait, let me ask but, Chill, man. But hey, I hey, will, hey, I'll dress different, though. <laughs> let me got to ask Chill, because Chill the OG. Chill, hey, put that picture back up real quick, Ron. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Chill, would, would you do this, man, if you got the bag? Would this be the first thing you did when you went to the league, bro? Put that picture back up, Ron. Man, we got we got to ask you, bro. You got to get hey, some wisdom. This this one, the first thing he did. The first thing he did was put a hit out on Britney Spears. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's, that's bad, bro. But what what shit? He did put the, he did put the pause on Britney Spears, though. He hey, did. What you, what, no, chill. Seriously, as an executive of a team, if your player is doing what Ron's about to put on the screen, the first thing you're number one overall pick, and the last player you had that did that, kick the referee in the, in the, where the sun don't shine. Where would you? What would you be thinking if your guy look, showed up looking like that? Oh no! What the See? hell? Look now, look at Chill. See, go ahead, Chill. I want to hear your reaction. What? I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a nineteen-year-old kid, but yo, what are you doing, baby? What, what's the what's the story with this? This is nah, no. Now, uh-uh. now, Chill. <laughs> now, Chill. His fellow Frenchman slash new teammate Jeremy Sochan, who's already been dying his hair. They're right. getting closer as well, and he joins the team, and he's trying to be like Jeremy. He's trying to be like his guy. That's probably if knowing the Spurs. That's his vet. Who's the other veteran on the team? That might be his vet. I right mean, that he, picture he, comes he, from a video of him with Jeremy Sir. Yeah, literally, he, Jeremy yeah, took the together in the video. Yeah. I don't. I don't, he, I don't he, care. He, the man was. With, I don't care. If the man was with Dennis. Rod, I don't care if he was with Dennis Rodman, bro. If I'm, if I am the dude that drafted this kid, and I saw his whole life, he was moving one way. And as soon as he comes to the NBA, why he why, well since he's friends with all these guys, why he wasn't doing that before? See, this is the problem that I have, and chill time <laughs> understand because he's from the old school. Like, bro, when you start seeing stuff like this, it makes you just think, like, yo, are these dudes really focus on basketball coming in here. Like, I can understand. Let me finish. Let me finish. When you think about Dennis Rodman, right? Dennis Rodman didn't start doing that stuff till after he was established in the league, bro. After he was established out here, yeah, yeah, let's be honest. When he showed up to Detroit, he wasn't doing that, bro. Go look at Dennis Rodman's early days in Detroit. He was not doing that, bro. And Chill Town, no, I'm not lying. Chill, when did, when did Dennis Rodman start acting the damn fool after, after he started after, accomplishing after, stuff? After, after, he left, after he left Detroit. That was in, like, year eight. Yeah, but year, that's, that's – That was in, like, year eight, something like that. But to, to Mars's point, Mars, they're in the gym. They could be in the gym, and this could be some publicity stunt type of stuff. We don't know that they're in there working out. They could just be in there showcasing this sort of stuff. All right, okay. They're cool. sweating. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think this. Cool. I, don't, I don't think. Yeah, I don't like, think this, is this much reaction much. to hair dye. All of a sudden, questioning work ethic. All right, cool. I don't. No, I don't think. Don't think it, no, 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 we're not. We're not questioning cool. work ethic, Mark. No, that's, that's not what we're doing. Oh, we're taking. No, he's going to be a buzz now. No, this. This. When you do stuff like this, right? It may, again, you're the face of the franchise, Mars. And when you're doing stuff like coloring your hair, like what's next? Because now what you are is you unpredictable, and we can't have that as we can't have we can't have that as a franchise. Wait, wait, wait. Is hair dye? Is hair dye? Is hair dye the new gateway drug? I don't know. 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 I do then they start wearing all the funny clothes. Then it's, then it, this is what we talking about. Then it's the focus be more on their fashion and this stuff than they do on basketball. You can go, look, dudes was clowning Kuzma because now it seemed like these dudes put more importance on what they wear into the games versus the actual games. And it started in L.A. with Kuzma. They was down in, remember Chill they was cooking Kuzma in L.A. when he dyed his hair and started acting funny because they thought they said he wasn't focusing on basketball. You can go look at the same thing with a lot of these other guys, bro, bro. Once they start doing that, my question is, is where's your, like, look at Russell Westbrook. Like, everybody questioned, like, when Russ started doing that funny dressing and funny hairstyle, <laughs> wearing skirts and stuff, 
that's when his game start getting off. That's when people start saying, oh, man, what the MVP doing here? What are we talking about? No, no, he won the MVP the same year he was dressing like Cam Newton. What are we talking about? All I'm saying is this. In 2017, he was wearing them 10-man suits. He was out there with the tight, no one's At the gala. He was wearing KD left. That's what he started dressing like that. With that being said, just like where I am. I just, I just want to remember. I just want to make sure that you hey, right, right, right quick. Yeah, I want to make room for top left, right quick. He's, oh, he's so there. Boy. He is right there. But go, go ahead, continue. I just want to make sure, Damo, that you remember this. So when this is how it starts, I ain't saying that. I'm not saying that this is a, a huge problem, but this is how it starts. And after this, when it's something else. If his game doesn't match these answers, they'll go right to this. Exactly what they were. And I want to make I want to make sure that they I want to make sure that that's what they're gonna do. That's what they're gonna do. I don't think you Mar, I don't think you understand what antics are. Antics are small things. Antics aren't something that is that's huge. Dyeing your hair is an antic. That's something that's unpredictable. Wait, wait a minute. What's going on with this guy? And if his game doesn't match these antics, this is exactly what they're gonna go to. Are What's we lying? Are we lying, Shaq? I mean, you you yeah, ain't just yeah, you, guys whole, hit me. you didn't do yeah, something your whole life, Shaq. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Shaq. Now you play basketball. You you know you've seen this dude for a while now. This dude ain't been doing this stuff his whole life. You ain't seen this from him. Now all of a sudden he the number one overall pick. He show up at the team on, on the team site. This dude now blonding his hair, acting like Dennis Rodman. Man, come on, we got we got to talk. So we got some things to talk about because I doubted you when I went over the reports about you. I didn't see none of this type of stuff before I got you. So now, if he doesn't play well, am I lying? Are they not going to start going to this stuff, Shaq, saying he ain't focused on basketball? Ticket, that's his mans. I, ain't, I don't care if that's his mans. I'm asking you. I'm asking you, am I lying about what we saying? And Shaq, what I'm saying? Wait a minute. With me hold and Chelsea, on, hold, 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 hold on, Shaq. Just so you know. I don't, think, I don't think his hair is going to be dyed open at night. I think if, I don't, I'm I don't not saying it. that. Let, no, no, let, I'm let's not just saying say that. The sake of argument, let, let's say for the sake of argument, that's true, and that's his man. Just so you know, Jalen Rose, Chris Webber, Jimmy King, that was his man. Jimmy King never cut his hair all off. Juwan Howard, he never cut his hair ball. He never did any of that stuff. But he was still down. Yeah, man, we getting old. But we getting old. We getting old. This is the new generation. I do know That's that what part. They do. They get. I do off. know that part. Yeah, I, I remind you, he's old all the time. He, he's away. Actually, I, I, I'm older than Greg Popovich, according to Mars. But that's another. That's the, that's another conversation. But the only question that I have is when this, if, if this game doesn't match these antics, I want to make sure that Damo has the same look on his face. When this conversation comes They're up, gonna again. This up, They're going to bring this when up. They're going to bring this up. When this comes up, that's all I'm saying. They're going to bring this up. 100%. They'll, they'll bring it up but, and they'll but be wrong. Like, like, but his game going to matter. Like, I don't understand why this color of his hair has been. It, 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 it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's a lot of shit that doesn't matter. It's a lot of shit that doesn't matter. It's the NBA. I'll tell you what. With him dying his hair, if he performs up here with him dying his head, it's actually going to be a good thing. Man, take it just sat here and said, when I scouted you, you did my scout report. He put his on the scout report. You scouting the can he balled. You gonna put when uh, what is it? Jordan Walsh got scouted. You think that was like you know he's a ball head cat too? So he got that dog in him. No, <laughs> no one's there. Jack <laughs> is Jack is sad on his return, but so, yeah. on your return, you come I'm in here sad. I'm man. just coming and, to listen, but it's no way that's gonna out, be on the scout but report. But you being you understanding this, Ticket, are you gonna say that? You know what you, you know the both, but you know, hold on. You know the best of both worlds, though, dog. You no, know how and see what you know, what you trying to, what you you trying to do it, Jack. That. You're trying to give dudes a pass because of this new era. That's why that's why you're doing that, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. I got, to, got to. I got to. I got to. You gotta get with the times. So you hold on. So you would do it too? Would I die? Well, my wife's been trying to give me to dye my hair. Would you do it? would you do that think, right I there? Think it's a, I think it's a much different situation. I'm asking you, would you do that right there, Shaq? I think it's a much different situation. Would you do that? <laughs> if I was his age and I was the number one overall pick, I wouldn't give a fuck. Oh, I mean, Shaq. look with Zion's what was that, getting off. What was that, what was that conversation? Look, with, look is, what with Zion's conversation? getting off. It's what was that conversation Do you want to dye your hair? Like, <clears throat> cool. You think it was that simple, Mars? Yes, because sure. it's not I that big a deal. It's just hair. Like, it's literally and if, that, and, and, and if that's his man. Because guess what? If he doesn't what? like it, just dye it back. I'm glad you brought that up, Mars. If that's his man, why didn't he do it before? Like it's, it's not like he brought they just met at draft night. Like so, so, so if they just met at draft night, then you ain't my man. You just somebody I work with. Right. They're getting right. close. They're, he was They're at, uh, he, he's probably chilling with him. He Who's sees his hair looking all crazy. I'm dying my hair. If I met a human two months ago that I work with, wow, I'm gonna dye my hair too. If I don't like it, I'm gonna dye it. How quick people get touched with them? Hey, Tia, don't worry. Hey, Tia, don't worry. I'm I'm gonna come back to Shaq in three months if he's walking around here with a purse, and I'm gonna see if Shaq can donate that too. Word. 
I'm gonna come back in three months if they if they got him wearing a purse because that's his he friend. Probably, like, he probably oh, already God. doing. He probably already doing that. Y'all remember? He, he is French. I'm not saying he, French, he is so. French. Like I don't want y'all to see him walking around San Antonio. Tony Parker like wasn't walking around with no goddamn purse. What y'all <laughs> talking about? It was two thousand. <laughs> oh, don't hand me that French nonsense. Tony Parker wasn't doing that. <laughs> But they were wearing punk that's, ass that's baggy, different times, baggy suits, different times. and that shit was trash too. <clears throat> yeah, you got to tie that. Baggy suits was suits trash up. too. But you would have been wearing it then, Shaq, at that time. And just like if you were younger now, you would not care. No, but I'm saying not everybody's doing that though. I'm saying that's not the norm for everybody. That's no ticket. He came back. A lot of people are down crazy. here. Damo, you, I couldn't believe. Hey, yo, Shaq, do you know Damo got a rat, man? <laughs> You talking about people who are Don't explain your rat tail, Dabo. Dabo has a rat tail. It's a pit bull tail. I had a rat tail in in third grade. That was my man. That was happening right now. I was eight. Dabo put the old school back on that. I do. Hey, man, I do a lot for my community, man. Real quick, real quick. Dabo, you remember when you came on Player's Choice like last summer and got cooked and left? God cooked and left. Crazy. I don't know about God cooked and left. I remember I came on last summer. A lot of people was like, "Yo, they they said something about y'all." I was like, "What?" I wanted to pull up and see what everybody was talking about. We was talking ball. It was nice. Then I had to dip. Uh, I remember. You got cooked and left. It's cool though. There was MC Robinson. Just, 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 just so you, just so you know, MC Robinson. With that, what you just said, there's multiple players in the league with their hair dyed. How many of those guys are the number one overall pick in the face of the franchise? So, oh so, goodness. so, chill. What is wrong with that, though? I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out this, what's wrong with that. It's well, that's that's not, it's, 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 my, my issue, my issue with it, my issue with it, Shaq. And, and again, I don't have a huge issue with it. It's just unpredictable, and that's what this suggests in the future. That this could be something that what's going to be next after this, especially if his game doesn't match this. I don't so have a problem with this it. After game three or four, would you have had a problem with it? If if he did this after game three or four, and his game was translating i'm not saying that i wouldn't have had a problem with it i would have raised an eyebrow because so, again so did, you have, a, did you have a problem with doing the power hairstyles until you show you're a good nba player i guess that's that's what it sounds like <laughs> that's that's what it is i guess if you get a tattoo that's a bit too expensive did you have a problem with brian doing the powder before the games when he was the only one nobody ever did it before oh that has nothing to do with hairstyle nothing it's an antic. Yeah, it's an antic. Just, 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 just so you know, crazy ass antic, by the way. It's not right. just an antic. It's, it's, it's the it. antic. But Shaq, the powder, always the this, powder Shaq, on his hands. What, is the, what did that powder on his hands do? Yeah. That, is that, what, is, what is is that, that not part of the game? Do? What does a hairstyle do besides make certain people uncomfortable? I don't know. No, 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 no. Well, Shaq, that's not what we're saying. Shaq, what we're saying to you. Shaq, what we're saying to you is this, bro. And you know this. Hey, bro, stop capping, bro. You know this. If we have recruited you, yo, for the last couple of years, and we've seen you be do one thing, we've seen one party. I don't want you to show up to, to camp, and then it's something completely different. I, I'll come in here. I'm like, hold on. Now I've been scouting you this whole time. We took you number one overall, based on, and you know they do heavy research on these guys. We've watched Wimby for the last year and a half. We've seen the same thing, same hairstyles, same movements, same all of this stuff. That low key. All of this stuff, humble everything. Now all of a sudden you come in here with a blonde hair with a purple streak down the middle. Come on, man! That, like, like, and, and and you know, you know we're not lying. If he don't play well, if he do not play well that first month, they are gonna dog this dude, bro. They are gonna destroy this him. Bro. Is, I see mad lights and niggas same. with that hair. Bro. Like, it's I, the exact like, same as when like, people got mad at LeBron for having the chosen one tied. It's the exact same thing. You guys are just getting mad at something for no reason. The exact uh, same thing when the Broncos got tattooed, and people are going crazy. If I'm not mistaken, even crazy, with the, even with the, way, the chosen way. one logic, did his game translate? That's not the point I'm making. Yeah, I'm saying your game, game has to translate. Your game has to translate. Your game has to translate. Yeah, you have to be at a certain level to unlock the unlock these um. His Excessive. game is going to translate. Once Wemby's what averaging 22 points a game. That's all I care about. Game, that's, that's all I yeah. care about. Once Wemby's averaging 22 points a game and 10 rebounds, he can die tight whatever color you want. But you have to unlock that all-star level. Right now, he's not. He's at rookie level. Uh, so you, you can't you, do those things yet. You've got to unlock it at certain level. Ticket, not, chill time. Y'all y'all know, y'all know now it's it's uh, it's unconstitutional now to be you know do this about hair. You know what I'm saying? They did it with dreads for a long time. It's unconstitutional. Y'all got to let this kid rock, man. This is, you know, this is America. I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah, I'm thinking about them being unpredictable. And 19, 20 years old. 
What's that's, the difference between and, the dreads and, and, that's, and, and him dying his hair? And, that, and, that's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what I'm saying. My thing is, it's it's to me, it's no difference, honestly. I mean, there, there's there's some people that's a cultural thing with it with their dreads, you know, dread locks, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, their locks, it's a cultural thing for some people, you know, some people it's not. Um, for, for certain, for for certain, for certain ethnic, ethnicities, you know. Uh, okay, okay, African okay. Scene, switch it up. What about for you and Ron? What is the reason that you got? I like so just because I I, I want to dress. I start, you know, I just you know doing research, and then I just like I like having hair. You know what I'm saying? I've always been that so way. I never, I never, I never been clean cut. For Jimmy my Butler. Hair. Yeah, why, Jimmy. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Stay right there, chat. That's what I was gonna say. But Jimmy, but, 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 hold on. Jimmy showed up because Jimmy. Oh, chat. The day Jimmy showed up with that picture with at camp. With the with the come F me braids, what did everybody say? They dogged him. They complete they he, humiliated he, him the way he took him out and that, right before the season started. No, he did that he for the media reaction that you guys gave him. And then he nah, he, he, he did it thinking he was gonna get away with it. And when he got dogged out coming oh, to camp, okay. I, I, I guess you know, I guess you know Jimmy so got so more than so you know. Media, so, for the media, away, come on, so if he comes on and we like, yo, those dreads are so dope, he would have kept them, is what you're saying. No, I'm oh, saying no, he no. knew how the media would react because everyone is just the same and overreacts to everything. That means nothing. They did what, exactly what he anticipated, and then he took them out like he was going to do. It's the same reason that I make things and say things for the clips on TikTok, knowing how people are going to react, and then I laugh at them because they do exactly what I expected them to so do. So Wimby is a troll. Jimmy is Butler did the exact same thing. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Yes, Wimby is a troll. No, Jimmy Butler think, was think, trolling. Think, uh, okay, and Wimby is a troll trolling. also. I, I never said Wemby, Wemby was trolling. Wemby just wanted to dye his hair. Jimmy Butler made it abundantly clear he was trolling. He did it so that every picture ESPN used of him had to come with the dreads because he went there with Media Day and he made it explicitly clear he was trolling. Wemby and Jimmy Butler are two different people. Two different people can do two different things for very different reasons. I'm not assuming why Wemby did it. I'm saying it's very likely that he just wanted to dye his hair because it's temporary and if he doesn't like it, he'll just go back to his regular hair. Or well, maybe the he'll grow his hair out. Maybe ticket. he'll have a ponytail. Maybe he'll Chilling get dreads as well. Who knows? No one cares. If matter. Jimmy was playing, if, if Jimmy wasn't playing well, Chill and Ticket would have never brought up the dreads. I'm a hundred percent certain true. that would have never so, came up on the show. So, so, so chill, so chill. You're saying you're saying if Jimmy would have had a bad year, you would have been like, man, it was them damn extensions he had at the beginning of the season. <laughs> Chill. It's no, it's no way you would have said that. No way. What's killing me, though? I would not have said that because Jimmy Butler been in the league for a long time and he's got a track record. Right. Now, no, no, no. We're talking no, about, talk about something different with Wimby, though. We're talking about a, we're talking about a dude in Wimby who Mars is, is poo-pooing and dismissing a guy, coloring his hair with a dude he just met two months ago, which suggests to me that are you that easily influenced? If you're doing this with a dude that you just met two months ago that you work with, well, what else is going to influence you? This but is what I'm saying. Or he just doesn't think hair dye is a big life decision. What I want to ask you in Ticket, though, Chill Town, is how do y'all know that he ain't never dyed his hair before? How do y'all know that he wasn't? Do y'all know what he was like You know what I'm saying? Ticket has made that claim already. So I want to know how do you know that maybe when the kid wasn't 15, 16, before he was mega famous, how do we right. know that he's never dyed his hair before? And second, second question, that. second part of that question, ticket and chill town is: when, since when did hair dye really become a gateway drug? <laughs> <laughs> like, when did it become saying, a gateway drug? I mean, yes. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's not a gateway drug. I'm not saying that. But what is synonymous with again? It's synonymous with with, with Dennis Rodman. And what was Dennis Rodman when he was there? <laughs> On Who was Dennis Rodman when he was there? And Dennis Rodman was a baller, no question about that. But when he started yeah. doing that. What was next? Dresses and and, and tight leather pants. <laughs> what is wrong with, right? what is wrong with tight leather pants? We watching this stuff. We out. Degree. We completely forgetting the fact that he averaged 18 rebounds a game. We leaving that part out, right? <laughs> that part goes by the wayside. I'm thinking about Wimby. If he's doing this stuff, which again, Mars thinks that it's minuscule and it's poo poo. If he's doing this stuff, and his game doesn't translate, it's going to be the topic of conversation. People are going to start picking at him. That's People stupid. are going to start picking at him. Is he unpredictable? What's going on with this kid? That's how I don't know any one person stupid. that's going to say that. Who is going to say that? I need to know the specific talking heads that are going to say that. The People Stephen you don't Smith, listen to. Ticket who? 
Who's gonna Skip say Bayless? It? Skip Bayless is gonna be the first one to say it on whatever show he has with Little Wayne on Fridays. He's gonna bring okay. it up. Oh man, he's only averaging fifteen. Is he a bust? Because look when he changed his hair. All the talking heads that you don't need to listen to, you shouldn't care about, or really shouldn't have any pull when we talk about sports, are gonna be the ones harping on when Biamba's changing his hair in the end of August. By the time it's October and December and whenever, and he's playing bad. That's who's gonna bring this up. It does not matter. The kid is on the He can't, he can't talk about that with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne gonna be like, ah, oh, Skip, yeah. it's his head. Skip, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> he did ain't no big deal. <laughs> well, all right, right. This is okay. I feel, I'm gonna chill. All right, we, so we, we, we got to keep it pushing, but you guys know what we about to talk about. Um, we brought it up last Friday. If you t- if you tapped in last Friday, you know we got to talking about the worst players in NBA history, and. Oh, oops. And, uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. And Ron, I know this Ron, is, we're not about up? to we're not about to get to um, USA versus Germany. We're going to talk about the worst players in NBA history in a second. But USA versus Germany, did you guys you guys <laughs> watch the a, game? That was a that was a crazy game. And yes. I only and I only bring that up because they also played Greece, and it was when I landed in Athens, and I seen the game. I seen the highlights. And I got about four or five teammates on the Greek team, and I was like, "What? What was it? Were you guys? Were you guys scared? Like, what? What did it look like?" And then I watched scared. the film, and and yeah, that I, yeah, that that that's a tough team. When I looked at them matched up, I said, "Yeah, that's crazy." I only think Germany can fuck with them, to be honest. Like seeing Ant Edwards and real person the way that they were describing them, yeah, shit was. Told y'all about Germany. Okay, I, but I don't, I don't, think, I don't take Greece serious without Giannis. I'm not taking them no, serious. No, no, no. That's a fact. But I still know these guys, and I know their energy. So to see it translate going against Team hold USA on, on. was you think like. Giannis on Teddy Kumpo was going to do damage, y'all. You yeah, said, no, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I know these guys, and I know their aura. And then I went and I actually looked at the USA team, and I was like, "Motherfuckers got some ballers. This is the this is the new school." I, because I was trying to think, like, who are the old heads could be on the team? Like, of course, you got KD, you got Dame, mm-hmm. you got Draymond and those guys. But the passing of the torch is real. It's going to happen. Um, watching them play that Germany game, honestly, it was at one point Germany went up. They went on a little run. And it just seemed like the Team USA team was small. I mean, we got Benchero coming off the bench playing center. Mm-hmm. So that was an issue that I've seen. And I'm like, I if we end up playing any other country or whatever it is, um, and they have big men, that would be the real thing to give us issues. But watching Anthony Edwards say, F it. Brunson, you don't want to score. You're you not on the day. Whatever the case is, that's fine. Coach, get him out of here. I got this. Watching him take over, do his thing. Watching Halliburton come off the bench, do his thing. That shit was special. And the ending of the game, that turnaround jumper he hit, over shoulder where he like double clutched it and it bounced in. It was aura about that. I ain't going to lie. It was I, That was special. That, it felt think- special. It felt different. A lot of y'all talk a lot about Anthony Edwards and offensively. Nobody talking about the fact that Germany threw them in a hole 16. Mm -hmm. What they did was how they fought back to get in that game with Jaron Jackson Jr. protecting the rim. Anthony Edwards on the wing. Mikael Bridges on the wing. Denying the basketball. Slowing up the run, right? Yes. They they, they basically threw threw them in a hole, and they had to fight to get back in that game. This is why I'm a big fan. I don't want to shake up this roster. What I mean when I say I don't want to shake up this roster – if Jason Tatum decided to play or or Devin Booker decided to play, fine. But in, in terms of this team right here, to actually have a national team and this national team be our team that grows up together and defends the gold medal in with the FIBA and then Over. goes to the Olympics. Over. And this is what we have as a national team as opposed to throwing crews together. I like what I'm seeing with this crew. I really do. I really like, I'm not a big Halliburton Olympics. fan. The four next Olympics. I'm not a big Halliburton fan, to be honest with you, because when I watch him athletically, there's something about him that that just doesn't it it, it, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. He got I guess a motor. The, uh, his mechanics. I think it's his mechanics. That's what it is like more than anything. Either. I think it's his I, I think like it's more either. his mechanics, like his shooting mechanics and his athletic ability. Because I think about guys he like He doesn't look like he should be that good. 100%. He really doesn't. He really doesn't. But he is though. That's the but but he is that good. And I think that this national team, if these guys can stay together, and I don't mean just for FIBA, I mean for the Olympics and maybe the next Olympics after that, I think that this I think this team's gonna do a lot of damage. So you you guys think and when's the next Olympics? In two years? 
I think this summer in 24. It's, it's, summer. 24. it's next yeah, summer. 24. It's next summer. So, 24. so you guys think next summer they Wait, should roll out this 24? roster? Isn't it in Chicago? Where, where is no, it's Los Angeles. Tokyo. Oh, oh, I think it's in Los Angeles. I think it's in Los Angeles. It's in L.A.? You see, the I L.A. is 28. I'm sorry. Los Angeles. Is, it was in Tokyo. It, I think it was in Tokyo in 21. I think Los uh, Angeles is in 28. If I'm not mm, mistaken, okay, okay. it's in it's in Paris, 2020. Yeah, okay, I so, knew it was in Paris. Okay, okay, okay. I, I don't want to say anything and look dumb, so I just stay quiet. So yeah, say something, Mars. If you know what you're talking Mars, about, have a something. Not, I, yeah, don't know, but, see, I don't talk when I don't think I know what I'm talking about. I I thought I, thought I heard Paris, but if I don't know for sure, I'm just gonna stay quiet because Mars, don't don't, don't worry about don't worry about looking dumb, bro. If you don't know, yeah, don't worry about. No, see, I only talk about what I know, so I talk about basketball. And Taylor Swift being the goat. That's it. That's I'm gonna put you on that Katy Perry, man. Hey, Ron, to answer your question, though, for the most part, I do think majority of this roster should represent the nation in the next Olympics. I will say for me personally, just for the safety net, I don't know how we're going to do it, but America got to come up with some better options as big. Uh, obviously, you know my guy Jalen Duran is probably going to take take that torch and step up. But other than that, we got to get some American bets because that's like the glaring difference. Um, watching What's other- wrong with JJ? What, what's your problem with Jaron Jackson no, Jr.? Man, the same thing that was wrong when – and it's not that he's a bad player – I just mm-hmm. don't like his attitude, man. Like Ann said, bro, you defense player of the year, jump, nigga. Like, I don't know. Like, sometimes he's just, he's too, he's not he, trying he's to go too viral. content. He not Listen, trying to go viral. He, we just need bigs. He gonna get we need rid of that. bigs. Not just one. He gonna get Triple rid of J that. is cool, but so your issue ain't, what going. about Bam? So don't issue we have Walker ain't, Kessler? Bam's not American. It, Bam's Nigerian. Or is he gonna play for the Bam American? played in the Olympics in 21. Yeah. Bam already he played with the Nazi. So, so, so your logic is that. So JJJ, according to you, is really good. It's just we could probably do better. We just need more bigs. We just need more. Mm. It, it should. Paulo Benchero and, and I love Paulo. He should not be the backup center for the American team. I don't. I, I I'm not comfortable I can deal with, with that. that. I can so forward, get so get so get Bobby Portis out the way, Dama. Get Bobby. Get Bobby Portis. Portis. Oh, you know how we feel about Bobby, Bobby Portis. So oh, yeah, yes, definitely get him out the way. My bad. Dog. Definitely get him. Look, they still supposed to watch them dudes though. That's the NBA, man. I mean, the guys in the no, NBA. No, 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 you're not giving. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you sit up here and get no me ticket. So, I no ticket. Nigga. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. I know. I know. But I'm. Listen, listen. I play these niggas year in and year out. I'm watching these games, saying I know buddy, 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 and he can hoop. And then on top of that, when I'm seeing guys like the MVP for my team last year going to sack for 21 mil three years with no type of oh let's see what he got let's see this there i'm telling you it's like that now no and i'm not saying hold on i'm not saying hold on hold on i'm not saying no Jack. internet no social I'm, media you could get i'm not saying it. No, Jack, i'm not saying it ain't they beat their ass though right call is global i'm saying but they, they beat their ass with the current team constructed right not germany yeah yeah, yeah. No, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about Greece. You talking about USA? Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greece. Got you, got you. Oh, oh, yeah, that's oh, what, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. I'm, no, no. I'm saying. Hold on. This is what I'm saying to Shaq. Of course. I'm saying to Shaq. Of course. Of course, of course but with every, every team, team has put out, NBA players now. Every no, 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 no. But, but, no, no, Shaq. Keep, keep what I'm saying, though, because you, you, you take what I'm saying the wrong way, homie. I'm saying that with the players they got, he just said about Paolo. That was a number one overall pick. And Mars, open your eyes, sucker, before I open them for you. Yes, he He said that was a number one overall pick. He said that was a number one overall pick, right? Well, the number one overall pick, if he wasn't in the NBA, he should be dominating over in EuroLeague overseas. So that's him being true. on his team true. as a back, not, him being on his team as a hold on, hold on. Him being, hold on, but listen to what I'm saying. No, 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 listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. No, no. no. I, 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 hold on, I want you to listen to what I'm saying. Though, Jack, Jack. If you're the number, hold on. No, no, Jack, I'm not, hold on, listen to what I'm saying. If you're the number one overall pick in the NBA, you should be able to be one of the best players overseas. In Euroleague, if you're the number Ticket, one, you played in Europe. You, Ticket, you played in Europe. You know that the international no, game is no, way different. Not, I hear what you're saying, Ticket. You know that the international game is way different. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on. It's not just because I'm a ball. I'm a ball anyway. That's not true, Ticket. Let me finish saying what I'm saying, bro. That's not true. Finish saying what I'm saying. God I'm damn! I'm listening. I'm listening. If you ain't the, if you, if you the number one goddamn pick in the league, and you right. can't dominate your league, you shouldn't be the number one pick in the NBA. It ain't the same league no more. That's it not ain't the league no more. Hold on, okay. hold on, hold on, Damo. Sit your hating ass down. Sit your hating ass down. Don't even say that. Don't even say that. Keep going. Keep going. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say again. The NBA is supposed to be the best league in the world. That's what it's supposed to be. The U.S. is supposed to be number one. That's what it's supposed to be. All I'm saying is, is that if you're the number one overall pick in the NBA, you are supposed to be able to go and dominate in EuroLeague. If you can't, you really ain't supposed to be the number one overall pick. So what I'm saying is, is that a guy like Paolo, who he was just talking about coming off the bench, that just averaged 20 in the league as a rookie, right, on a team that's improving, 
with the Orlando Magic, if he ain't, if they're not good enough to have him coming off the bench and Team USA still win with him, then, that, then it shouldn't even be like that. Because I'm going to give you an example. And you can look at it and you can say, oh, that was a different level. Can no you problem. talk to maturity? Can you talk to maturity? Or does that have anything to do with anything? Yeah, no, no. I'm saying, hold on, bro. Listen, you got to understand. All I'm saying is this, uh, Shaq. If we saying that the level of the NBA is supposed to be better than, than EuroLeague and overseas, right? Then all I'm saying is, is that if we saying the number one overall pick shouldn't be able to come off the bench, because didn't Christian Layton, Layton go to the team? Hold on. Didn't he go to Team USA and was coming off the bench for them? So all I'm saying is if he can't come off the bench, I ain't saying start and kill, Shaq. I'm saying if he can't be a guy that comes off the bench, because remember, didn't they used to have guys like AD coming off the bench before he did anything in the league? Oh, listen, 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 listen. Yes. Hold on, listen. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Listen. You hold on. Take it. Take it. Hold on and actually hear what I'm saying. Because you're not even listening. You're making up hypothetical arguments to argue for yourself. This is crazy. What I'm saying is Paolo should not be our backup center. He can play. And he's doing just fine. I'm just not comfortable playing probably higher level bigs with Paolo being the backup center. If Kevin but Durant... Go, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. but Kevin, but Katie, but, but no, Katie's not gonna play. That's the thing to Chill's point. Like, if you keep this crew together in three, four Olympics, there nobody's gonna beat them regardless. But I'm saying right now they're figuring it out. These are a bunch of young guys that have never played with each other before. Like, it, it, it just is what it is. Like, if I see that team USA team, and we put together the best Euroleague team, it they're we're not getting swept. It's in, in my opinion. Who's the backup center? Opinion, very fair. Chad, who's very the backup fair. American center? Chad? Who's the back American? Not foreign. Not Jokic, not Giannis. Who's the backup American center then, Damo? Ding dong. Let's get it. Okay, so again, <laughs> no, listen to what I'm saying. You're making up stuff. Give me a name. No, no, you listen, listen, give me a listen, name. Listen, give me listen. a name. What I'm trying to say is if Kevin Durant just got into the league and was in this situation, you want to put Kevin Durant coming in and, at year one, year two, year three at Paolo, center. Paolo weighs about 40 That's pounds. The issue. That's that. Again, I'm not saying Paolo is playing bad or it's not good enough to play. I'm just saying there are teams that's going to have actual centers. Who's Baker the backup Mitchell. center? I'm saying who's the backup okay. center? Just well, well, if we're just naming anybody, hell, bam, we just talked about it. Bam would be a good backup center once we start playing. Actual Evan, Evan, Mo Evan Mobley. I was just about to say, Evan why is Mobley? Evan Mobley on that team? Why is Evan Mobley on that because team? He's not, hold on, because he's not better than Jaylen Paolo. Jalen Duran, boom. Hold on, that's he's not better than Paolo. That's why. Is it Walker Kessler? Isn't Walker Kessler on the team? Yeah, he's, he's on the team. He was, I thought he was on the select team. No, he, say, he's, a, he's on the team. He just doesn't play much. Pirate, I thought he was from Sweden. I didn't even think he was. Hey, hold, hold on. Oh, Dom, is, Evan Mobley, is, Evan Mobley better, is Evan Mobley better than, than Paolo? At center, yes. No one is at center. He's, yeah, a, better, he's, he's, a, better, he's a better defensive he's player, a better player which, is what, which is what Domino's suggesting. That he's a better player. When Domino's talking about When Domino's talking about legs, basically in the paint, being able to rebound, protect the paint. Do stuff like I feel, that. Hold on. I feel you. Hold on. I feel you on that. But what right. Shaq know this too. Ron know this too. And Bob know this. We've always talked about this. What have they done to the NBA now? They've made it a small a, a small ball league. And, and that's not why playing he's struggling. In the NBA. That's, playing that's the, the number one point why Paolo is probably not the best pick. Because if you're going over there, you're playing FIBA rules. It, it gets kind of weird for guys <laughs> because you can just sit in the paint. And it's really nowhere to go, especially for craftier guys. Even for Katie, he had a little stint. But, I mean, Katie's Katie. But I'm just saying, like, it, it is tougher. But Melo had guys like Kobe, Bron next to him. You can't guard all that. But these young guys trying to figure it out, they're going to struggle against Germany. Why? Because Germany's like that in the sense of we play together, we've been playing together for years. So if the USA, if, uh, if they keep this same type of, you know, team together – they're gonna be unstoppable. Who do you think? Who, who do you think's gonna win, right? Who do you think's gonna win the Olympics? You, I, I think the USA is gonna win. So what are we talking about? Hold on. What is the Rock talking no. about then? I, I, it's a mere bag of shells. I, I, I can see. Group I can see why Team USA is still gonna win. So what are we talking yeah, about? I, so. I can understand if we talking about Team USA was gonna lose like they was when Chill Towns boy who lost not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. Yes, it does, Mars. Yes, it does. And here's and we're not doing it for twenty minutes or half an hour, Mars. But Mars, 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 he just what what he just did was he just <laughs> ethered himself. You know why he just ethered himself, Mars? Because he just mentioned to you guys. He just said if you're the number one overall pick, you should dominate. In the Olympics, so you should dominate overseas. How did LeBron James do in 2004 in the Olympics? Hmm. That ain't my fault. He wanted he he wanted to do what you thought he was. 
Okay, so it wasn't his fault. Okay. He wasn't who you thought he was. That, that's okay. what we've been telling you. We've been telling you that. Right. <laughs> you were the one saying he was the greatest. I, I was saying he wasn't. <laughs> That's just more proof. And you see what happened when they went and got a real man, you when they went and got the black mama ball. Kobe Bryant, he came over there and cleaned that mess up. But that's another day, <laughs> another story. But back to my boy Shaq. Like I said, Shaq, you know how big so dogs do talk. You do you think Brian can come can do you think Brian can come clean this mess up? Right or now? Do you think there's no mess? Yeah, like right now. I don't think it's a mess. Look, Shaq, I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's a mess. The reason why I, I don't think it's a hold on. The reason why I don't think it's a mess is the reason why I don't think it's a mess is because I think Team USA is good enough to make People, other teams play their style. That's what I think. I think they're good enough to make other teams play the way they want to play. And that's what they're doing. Bro, you got Steve Kirk coaching the team. This is easy. He loves small ball. This dude runs Draymond Green at the center sometimes. So you know how he wants to play. When they put that roster together, he knew what he was doing. You think these dudes don't know what they're doing when they put the roster together? He put the roster together to how he likes to coach. If he likes to coach with smaller bigs where he can push the ball and do all this other stuff, that's who he wanted. I don't have a problem with it, as long as they win it. I don't think they're going to lose. You don't think they're going to lose. Now, if they out here and we see they out here getting drugged by different teams, Shaq, now we can have a conversation. I'm with you. But if they're out here beating dudes and Edwards is out here turning into a star or a superstar in front of our face, I mean, bro. Is Germany, I mean, the, is Germany the best competition that they're going to see in this FIBA tournament? Yeah, but I don't even think Germany. Jay might lose somebody else. I got to see their schedule. It depends. Nah, I don't, yeah, I don't think, bro. I'm t I don't think so. Spain, not the same. They got, they got, they got Lithuania. They got Australia, Spain. Yeah. I like Australia Lithuania. don't got their best players. Australia don't got their best players, and they're and their better players are old now. They got, they got, they got, they got young, they got young boys down there. They got young. So they're doing the nail. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, Shaq. Shaq, you know this. They can get the hell, Shaq. The only team I would be worried about is Greece if they had Giannis. That's who I'll be worried about. If Greece had Giannis, yeah, Serbia, Serbia without Jokic, I'm telling you, they're really a problem. So that's that's Serbia, that's Lithuania, Germany, Spain, Slovenia, Watch them get the hell beat out of them. Watch them get the hell beat out of them. Watch Slovenia my team. Got a good team too. Y'all, let's back come here today. The U.S. can win. Oh, yeah, yeah. Watch my team. They're gonna the hell out of them. They're not unbeatable. U.S. U.S. broke Germany. Yeah, U.S. broke Germany. That's why I'm not really concerned about them anymore. But everybody else, I'm telling you, all right. I hey, but keep in mind, so. keep in mind, Germany was beating Team USA all game. I don't yeah, care. Well, they, hold on. What was the end result? What was the end result? But the, but they the, way, they, the, way, they, the way they, they played the whole game, nice. though, they they probably they probably feel like yeah. now after that ticket, they showed that we can play your, with your, your, your logic, your logic is legit. Ticket that ultimately they, they're going to win, but I think it's going to be more competitive than you think. No, not because because some of the main guys ain't playing. Murray ain't playing for Canada. Hold on, Murray ain't playing for Canada. Giannis is not playing for Greece. That is major. Don't Giannis matter, don't get, who's the main guy for Germany? They just got a squad, bro. No, I shat. I wish you were a squad. I think it's a few teams. You're not hearing what I'm saying, homie. I don't disagree with you, bro. I know your knowledge on the game. I agree Germany got a squad. I don't think they better than the American squad. I don't I think, think they right. better than the American right. players no, no that got out there. No team is. Yeah, no, no team is. Now, nah, Tickets, no you're right. You're right. Like, the America should definitely win, bro. Like, you're 100 percent right. I'm saying, look, Shaq. Look at the American roster, bro. Bro, no, it's that, seven that players on that team that clear the players that are on Germany squad, that clear the players that are on these other teams. No, no, bro. no, no ticket. No way. No way. And it was clear. Seven, 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 seven compared to Germany, I'm not giving you that. Because In the international France, France game? Because, again, we got to talk about France the international game. France get busy. Again, the NBA, the NBA game is way different than it. I mean, that we, we got a guy up here who plays in the Euro League. There's guys who play in the Euro League who can't play in the NBA. There's guys who play in the NBA who will not be able to do what they do in the NBA in the Euro League. That just won't happen. So the international game is way different. Hand checking, goaltending rules, uh, spacing, mm -hmm. all of that stuff matters in the international game. And you got guys who play over here who wouldn't look nearly as effective if they played over there. That doesn't mean that Team USA as a collector as a collection won't be good. I just think it's a little bit more competitive than we giving them credit for. They they grew up on those FIBA rules, knocking the ball off the rim and stuff, you know. All that. Guar they, they guarantee you that win. Yes, guarantee that win, no problems. What's no I I I just want to see I said this to you. If they had Giannis, that's a game changer. If if Serbia has Jokic, that's a game changer. If God dad going uh, so Murray was Brazilian. with Canada. If Murray was with Canada, that's a game changer. Yeah, but they don't, don't forget we Don't hold forget on, hold on. Too, Canada just lost to the Dominican Republic, and y'all was just hyping up Canada two days ago. 
Cut it out. The DR's not bad. Me. The DR's not bad. No, nah, dumb. Nah, they're not bad. Hold on. Now they're not bad. Now the DR's not bad. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, Cat's back. I'm about to say, Cat's on the DR Republic team. What are we talking about? Man, Cat got thrown out of the arena. Cat got thrown out of the game. Who else is on there? Buddy Hill and Eric Gordon? Who else on that team? That's that's him. That's him and that's him and uh DeAndre Aiden. Yep. And Buddy Hill. They got one more person. Not Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill with. Hold on, Buddy Hill's not. You're right. You're right. Buddy Hill is Bahamian. Buddy Hill is Bahamian. Yes, he is. Oh, he got. Oh, I thought Buddy Hill. So that's why he got the big ass. Okay. So the Bahamas got Eric Gordon, Buddy Hill, and DeAndre Aiden, right? Yeah, they got one more person too, though. Let me let me look it up. Man, Dude, I was in watching. The meantime, I was watching Daniel Tice get busy. I was watching Daniel Tice get busy for Germany for a good bit. And I'm sitting there watching. Crazy. And I'm sitting Daniel, there watching Daniel like, Tice bro, is nice, Damo. It, he's nice, but he's not the biggest guy. So the fact that he was out there being <clears> the biggest body was blowing me. I'm like, bro, if we're struggling with Daniel Tice, we need big. focus, Shaq. Focus, Shaq. <laughs> man, what what what, 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 did Shaq. Do, what did that man do to Tice? Damn. <laughs> If you got you, you got Schroeder, you got Tice, you got both the Wagner brothers. That four right there, they can ball with any with any NBA players. Now I'm not saying they're better than all of them, except for Franz. Franz is better than a lot of them. But other than that, though, that's a that's a good enough. Own. That's that those four right there. That's good enough to rock with. Like I, I'll go to the tournament and be complete. Yeah, I, I said Schroeder. Yeah. You got short, so shorter, both the Wagner brothers, and you got uh, Daniel Tice, and then mm -hmm. of course they got other players too. But those are the main four that I know. Like that's that four. I could rock with that four against any country and be and be. Y'all see this? Like, now y'all see this? Y'all got Americans capping for non Americans, but y'all want to get mad at me. Y'all want to get mad at me. Hold on, hold on. I'm unpatriotic. Hold on. I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking to you. Everybody in the comment section, section. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. section want to get mad at me because I'm repping. For the red, white, and the blue. And these dudes over here repping for other countries and stuff, man. This is what I'm talking about. But y'all get mad at me, right? But I'm saying the Team USA going to beat the hell out of these dudes. I believe it. Chill. These dudes Chill telling y'all otherwise. Chill played overseas. Ox played overseas. Ron played overseas. I mean, we, we've we seen it all. I'm just saying, like, it's a game. It's a sport. Anybody can win. Anybody can lose. All right, Ticket, I thank you for your service. Game, hey, America, America's happy, proud of you, bro. We appreciate you being such a patriot. Ticket, you know room for the deal? Hold on, ticket to your point. If we were playing NBA rules, oh, I everybody think you better not let them hear that they're gonna pull up on you. They ain't gotta pull up on me, dog. They already I got my password every day. No, nah, no, nah, I'm talking about the Dominicans. They're gonna be like, ticket, you're not you're not going fast. I'll rock with the Dominicans. I'm cool. They don't say they're American. Nah, you gonna play on team VR? <laughs> they ask you to you gonna play on the Dominican Republic team? They, they got that bag. Nigga, they got that. I said I would play basketball, not with dudes' asses, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Pirate, that's, that's, what, is, what is that? Is that that's, is that Espionage Pirate? Or, or is that, is that, is that treason? It's treason. It's treason is what it is. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. This happens. Hold on, time out. This happens a lot. Hold on, come on. This happens a lot. Certain, hold on. Certain, Jack knows this. Certain players, they will get a stupid bag of money because maybe they didn't make Team USA, but they're good enough to play on a different international team. So they will get that's nationalized. Not, they will get for the bag. Just yeah, but it's just for the passport right. these days. So you like, guys that's that. If, if somebody gonna yeah. pay you millions and millions of dollars to do that, to do they get the nationality to play for they? It, uh, it would never team. be millions and millions of dollars though. To get it, it'd be like you guys. No, 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 no. I'm saying no, no. no, 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 no. I ain't talking about. Oh, I'm talking about over. I'm talking about over. Yeah, I'm talking about over. I'm talking about you got to be committed over a course of years. They do it like that. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, take, we'll, 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 we'll take the get ticket in the green and white with the, with the demand. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying, bro. Listen, no, when, when you when you work out contracts and stuff like that, hold on, bro. When you work out contracts and stuff, bro, bro, mm -hmm. Shaq, know this. Shaq will go anywhere in the world. They're paying that money. If, if they told Shaq right now to take, if they told Shaq right now to take to take his ass to 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 to, to Iran, and I'm gonna give you a uh, hundred million dollars, he going to Iran today. Listen, this is a video. I mean, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is a video. Hold on. Hold on. This is a video I did. Hold on. This is a video. Yeah, this is the proof. Hold on, Shaq. Here's the proof. This is a video I did. It started like $800. Hold on, hold on Pirate. This is the proof bucks. to it. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on, Pirate. This is the proof to it. This is a video I did today. You guys didn't see what Giannis just said. 
Giannis said he's considering going and playing in Saudi Arabia. You know why? Because Saudi Arabia wants to pay Giannis that money. He's go look it up on Bleacher Report today. Giannis said he will he would play in Saudi Arabia if they paid him enough money. You know why? Because Saudi Arabia came out and said they play that soccer player seven hundred and twenty million dollars a year for one year for one season. And you know what? And Giannis was throwing around and said, Oh, well, give me that. Well, they printed out a Giannis jersey and they act like they're serious. And go look how, it up on Bleacher Report. How much do you think they would give? How much do you think they would give? player turned down seven hundred and twenty million. That kind of disproves. Right. No, 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 no. That's a football. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, he turned down seven hundred and twenty million for one year. So clearly, no, no, no. Mars, 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 Mars. That's a soccer player. I will put any amount of money. And Shaq, no, I'm not lying. Ron, no, I'm not lying. And Chris, hold on. Any other stars in the NBA? If they came with a seven hundred twenty million dollar year offer, they're leaving the NBA right now and going to get that guaranteed money. They're not saying in the NBA because you're making in one season would you make a whole career over in the NBA. Any of the stars. And that is the way that you start peeling up. The, and listen, Saudi Arabia is doing it with boxing. Look at what they're doing with boxing. Giving guys $100 million of payday for a night in boxing. That's why you're seeing Deontay Wilder. That's why you're seeing Eddie Hearn take all those fighters over there because they're getting all that money in Saudi Arabia because they're printing out oil money over there. So, yes, when you're going over there and you got those Saudi, those, those Saudi trillionaires and stuff like that out there that's paying money, throwing it out of nowhere to get these guys, a guy like Giannis can go over there. He can get six, seven hundred million dollars per for one season. And if he does it, everybody else will start doing it because the money is guaranteed. The money will be but ticket. Ticket, it, it's just not sustainable to pay a, a basketball player that much money in Saudi Arabia. I mean, ah. people have come to the game, but they would have to, the ticket prices have to be hundreds of No, 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 it's not about that. Hold on, it's not about that. Hold on, it, it hold on. Have you, hold on. Have you done your research? Hold on. Have you done your research on the Saudis? Bro, the Saudis are some of the most of richest people in the world. Hold on, hold on. Of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course. I said it's not sustainable. No, it is sustainable. Hold on. It is sustainable. Hold on. Here's why it's sustainable. They got all the money. They're the ones that they're the ones that's sending us money. Hold on. They're the ones that's producing the oil for us. You know how much money they got? They're producing the oil and stuff like that. They're producing yeah, all Mars, of the stuff. Mars, who was the soccer player that did just go? Uh Neymar Jr. Who who yeah, who Neymar. just signed? Neymar. Okay, so ticket. Neymar just signed for I think like around three. How how much? I don't want to misquote. It's uh I believe it's around 200 or 300 million a year. Total like package with private jets and hotels. Yeah, he's getting, and all he's of that getting stuff mansions, hotels, all of that. Yeah. All so, Ticket, what you're saying is an uh, influx of soccer players over the next five to 10 years. And when I say influx, the way that you're talking, how many soccer players do you think is going to Saudi Arabia to play in the next five to 10 years? Well, it depends. Number, it depends on the money. Hold on, hold on. I don't know the, and, I don't know the soccer. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Like, let, like let me say this. I can't, hold on. I can't really speak on Mars Field. Cause he's more to in, into that. He knows like the no, salaries no, that these no, guys. No, hold on, listen, no, no, listen, what I'm saying. See, Chat, no, no. Let, 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 let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying first. Hold on, but respectfully, let me finish what was going to take the. Hold on, hold on, but respectfully, hold on, Chat. Let me finish what I'm saying first, so y'all, I don't make myself look stupid. I don't understand that soccer field as far as the salaries like Mars do across the field. Right. I'm just saying to you that if you're telling these NBA basketball players who are, and I'm talking about the superstars. Like the Currys, like the LeBrons, like the ADs, like the Giannis's. Bro, forget you playing 12 years to get $600 million. All I'm right. giving you 700 one year. Bro, you peel off all the stars. Everything goes over to Saudi now, bro. Everything. I'm talking about the TV rights, the sponsorships, all this new money <laughs> will go p be plugged into Saudi because that's where the stars are going, bro. All it takes is one. Once you see one dude start getting that bag at that level, then all the other superstars, they take their star power over there. That's where all the money, all the, so the Saudis who really don't need that because they got money anyways, because they are controlling the money of the world with the oil refineries that everybody needs that to live. That's how those dudes are trillionaires, bro. Even if that's, even if, even if that's, even if that's, even if that's true, even if that's true ticket, like you just mentioned, the NBA is a star driven league, right? And it's, generating billions of dollars every year so when it generating billions of dollars every year that means that this people who are there's a lot of people responsible for these people so a guy like Giannis, a guy like james a guy like kevin durant a guy like devin booker if these guys just leave for a bigger bag that means that the money in the nba is going to slow down this money can't stop there's no way that could happen and no way right, 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 right. They no, no, I, hold on. And, I, hold on. There's no way that the NBA, oh, okay, they pay 700 million. Chill. So now we're going to start doing that. No. Chill. Chill. No, I agree. Listen, Chill. I'm not saying it. 
I'm saying I agree with what you're saying. I'm saying that the Saudis can pay what the NBA can't, and they don't even have the endorsements. They are, these dudes are already filthy rich times a hundred million times over. Their well, kids the are being born. Hold on. How many guys? How, how many guys to get? Hold on. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Hold on. Listen. Hold on. We got one guy coming over. We got. If we got one guy coming we, no, over. No, no, no. Hold on. Chill, chill. We just said the other day, it's nine superstars in the league. If you can get nine, because it's like 10 teams out in Saudi. If you can get nine superstars to go out there, that for one, what that does is for Saudi, who doesn't need it already, that brings all That's the teams. Seven and a half billion dollars for nine. Bro, you're not listening. Bro, no, chill no, down. No, chill no, down. Chill down. Listen. Ticket. Chill down. No, that's not the That's working back. No, I'm listening. Ticket. Keep going. Keep going. Saudi would just link up with the NBA. It wouldn't be you take every single American. No, they don't have to link up with the NBA, bro. They don't have to do that. Why can't? Why do I need to link up with the NBA when I can be better than the NBA? Y'all don't. You are never going to convince. Ticket. Okay, ticket. so why y'all to say he'll do it? Ticket, that's one person, and he he, and in my opinion, he wouldn't do it. If it's the end of it, he already won a championship. MV, uh, MVP, he's already accomplished. I think it's a price tag for any player, but it's no way that that's sustainable. Would they it? would literally be throwing away tens to twenties to thirty of billions of dollars every single year to to just go and acquire. Who are they going to acquire? Just the top. What do you mean? Why would they hold on, Shaq? I've been Shaq. out. Hold on, I've lived in. Hold on, I've lived in Saudi. Hold on, I've lived in Saudi Arabia before. I speak the language. Them dudes right. don't care about money. They'll look at you and say, I think, I, they'll look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They'll look at you and say, right. They'll look at you, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell you something. They'll look at you and say, man, money is not their problem. What are you okay, talking so about? Why they get else <laughs> they're like, hold on, Shaq. Get... You saying money is a problem. They'll laugh at you if you talk about money. Bro, their kids, their grandkids are out here driving Lambos and Mercedes Benz that you ain't never seen produce yet. So I'm going to tell you something, bro. Y'all need to, everybody need to stop thinking that America got so the most money because they don't. No, I don't think that. I don't, I don't think years? that. Ticket, years, no. ticket let's make a bet. Let's I, I make a bet. You that, are so, no, 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 Ticket. I've been watching all summer. Playoffs, every single, Ticket, you like to make bets, so let's make a bet. Let's stage one right now. What do you uh -oh. want? Go ahead, yeah, we can put five years, we can put ten years. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Over the next Five, we can go five or ten years, no more than two players. And if we're talking superstars, there will be zero superstars in the next ten years leaving the NBA to go play in Saudi Arabia. For if the money, if the money's right for five for five hundred million dollars. How? <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I, oh, oh, hey, look, we can, we can, we can. Oh, how much you want to put on it? I, I'm not sure. Superstar, because then it gets tricky. Because yeah, yeah, no, Shaq, gonna, Shaq, this is what I'm saying. Is, Shaq, we don't know who superstar. This is what I'm saying to you, Shaq. This is what I'm saying to you. And, and Shaq, you know this. Shaq, you and I both know. You got to be a top fifty player in the most league. Of these, most of these players oh, are. Yeah, no, no, no. That's gonna run. Run, run. I'm not talking about. Come on, come on. All pro. I don't know. No, that's not talking to Me, me, and Shaq got a good understanding, Ron. I'm not talking to Shaq about no average star player. I'm saying the creme de la creme. I'm saying the superstars. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. There, right, will, be, right, right. there I'm saying will be no all NBA players who leave the NBA and go to Saudi Arabia in the next. Hold oh, on, no, no, Mars. I'm talking to Shaq. I'm not talking to you. This is above your level right now. So now, Shaq, back to what I was saying to you. Anyways, bro. <laughs> at the end of the day, when we talking, when I we talking about money, Shaq, that. you know, don't Shaq, you know, and I know that most of these guys in the NBA now value money over anything. Gil just Gil Arena Hard just said, that. "Hold on, I'm gonna tell you, hold on." Gil Arena just said the other day. He would take three hundred million dollars for his career over fifty-four million dollars in seven rings. Most of these guys, most of these guys now would rather wait, take, wait, would wait, rather wait, have the money in their account. Hold on, hold on, but, no, no. But this is what I'm saying. Most of these guys would rather have the money in their account, bro. They would rather have that money in their account. If you're telling me that I can go to a league right now and make what a dude makes like LeBron his whole career, one year if, if I'm Giannis, one year if I'm Curry, one year if I'm one of those guys. Why would I yeah, not do I'm it? Standing on the ticket. Now, one superstar is going to Saudi Arabia. Is Damian Lillard moving to Saudi Arabia? Zero. Is Damian Lillard moving to Saudi Arabia? Zero. Is zero. Zero. Right now, ticket. Damian Lillard's contract is up, and the Saudis offer Damian Lillard four hundred fifty million dollars for one season. Is he going? Yes. He'll yes, be full, he'll be a full not to. Yes, he's a full not to. Somebody <laughs> give me a four. A hey, chill. You chill. He don't make that. It's, it, now he's just creeping on making that for 11 years. You telling me I can go make that one year? Yes. But just to stay in the NBA over a day? Man, all these dudes are going to do. Hold on, tell me. Everybody up here, including Shaq, would be lying to you if they told you they wouldn't do it. 
for one year? We, Somebody we, give me five hundred million dollars. I'll do it. Hold on. You can make it. You, you can make, you can make up a new people. NBA league. Go give me that bread, dog. We just we just regular people. And Shaq, you know I ain't lying because you know guys have left the NBA that can still play in the NBA because they can make more money in certain situations overseas. They did it for the money. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, hold on, I'm just giving you the principle. I ain't saying, I'm saying the level. No, I'm giving you the principle. What guys are thinking, Shaq? You know I ain't lying. But but wait, hold on, yeah, hold on. You're, so you're what, talking, what about not, if you in not your prime like though. no superstar? Like like that's what I'm saying. Not like no superstar. All right. But what I'm okay. So y'all talking about cats towards like the end of their career? I'm I'm, I'm thinking like what about cats like Anthony Edwards in this like fourth year? So all these with the, 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 Rob, put up a poll, Rob. Rob. That, that's put not, up a poll, Rob. Like crazy. And ask everybody in this chat room. Right now, if they were offered six hundred million dollars and no, they were no, superstar no, no, in the league, no, 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 not that. That can't be it. It got to be. No, man, if they were superstar think? in the league, making sixty million dollars okay. a year, but they were offered no, six hundred no, million for one year, no, would they no, take that? Oh, Who we talking about, Ron? Ron, no, talking about? Puny minds can't get around the the, the the money that they're actually making. If we were up here making a hundred mil, it'd be a different conversation. But these guys got different mentalities. Ticket, it's not happening. It's oh, the shout. I'm telling you, bro. They gonna get you know, that. You know, gonna get do that. you know what my mama Zero. would do to me if I turned down four hundred fifty million dollars for one year? <laughs> you know what my mama would do to me? Like, she, even I, I feel you, Shaq, because I'm making nowhere near what those NBA cats are making. So, so obviously, so my should, mama, should, obviously, my mind is thinking different. But, but I mean, we do that every day, though. We 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 talk we talk for NBA players every day. So how come we can't do it today? So I'm, I'm saying, because, so I'm, no, so I'm no, thinking because if you, you put if, yourself if I make, in their shoes of making coming up a three hundred, no, coming off a three hundred million dollar contracts, and then saying, "Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give you six hundred seven. It, there's no scenario where this plays out where either they're still not in contract or they're a superstar. I don't right. see it. Like James Harden just can't just decide he's about to go play in Saudi Arabia. Why not? He can't do that. Because under FIBA rules, you cannot leave NBA. Yeah, you can't be under contract. Yeah, yeah. No, in right about that. Right, so, right so, about so, so, right so, so obviously, cannot... so we're, obviously, we're talking about people out, you know, at free agency, or whatever. So imagine, so if, yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. you're a free agent, yeah. if, if you just if you just had a contract where you're making forty million dollars a year and you you're mm -hmm. not under contract, you're a free agent. If they offer you four hundred million dollars for one season or two seasons, you will be a fool. Who, who, and my and my mama gonna hurt me if I say no. Who is the player? Uh, so that's so that's all I wanted to say too. I don't want to talk about cats at the end of their career because obviously I think they would do it. But I'm talking about cats like uh, Anthony Edwards, Brandon Ingram, Jason Tatum, Devin Booker. I think I don't, I'm so when we talk about those guys, I'm like I'm not sure if they would do it. Uh, hey, no, 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 hold on. Like even, if Harden, even, Russell even if it's Kevin those Durant. players, hold on, Damo, stay right there. Even if it's those players, and you're telling those players you just named ain't superstar. But even if you told those players, I'm giving you 250 to 300 million a year. Oh, adios. Sayonara. Well, I'm you I'm think, hold on. You think they want to the board in two years and come back, right? No, no, I, I no, go, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 hold on. Da, 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 uh, hold on. Uh, bye, bye. You think right. they take the 35 to 40 they making now? Or if they say, yo, we'll give you 250 right now. Come on over. Man, they go, man. I holla. I don't know. No, no, no. You want to know what's going to happen? You're going to catch, bro. you can catch some 24, 25 year old kid, well, 25, 24, 23, 25 year old guy, like a Anthony Edwards at that time, like at the uh, Holly Burton at the time that you're talking about. And they're going to be thrown their first extension off their rookie deal, or they're going to be given 250 from Saudi. They're going to sit there and be like, damn, I just had a two year old. Damn, I don't know if I want to be with my family. Damn, I don't want to be away from your family. Be away from your family. You can move your whole family over there. Guys, hold on. What if they don't want to go? Hold on, 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 so that's a lie right there. And it's also a lie that they won't be offering NBA players 400 million when they're offering football players half. Respectfully, football in Saudi Arabia is going to be worth much, much more than the Saudi basketball. And they offered Cristiano Ronaldo 200 million. can never get to that number. So they ain't about to offer So how did old boy get off for 700, Mars? How did old boy get off for 700? Mbappe is the best player on earth at 25 years old in a sport that is worth 
ten thousand times more than Barcelona. Hold on, with the homie, with the homie from, with the homie playing in Miami, get that right now. No, with the with the Argentina, with the Argentina in Miami, get that right now. Lionel Messi is the greatest player to ever exist, and he's not even offered salary wise close to anyone in Saudi. He got offered perks that would allow him to buy an MLS team. That's the only reason he's out there. He's getting offered money from the TV deals, from Apple TV. He got a crazy and he's getting first he dibs on the MLS deal. team. His salary is not that high. Cristiano Ronaldo is making 200 million and he's arguably the greatest player to ever exist. And you're saying give NBA players 400 million for a Anthony basketball Edwards. league that will not even earn 1% of what the Saudi Football League will make. They yeah, will not hey, offer that on, type please. of money to hey, hey, Ron, Because I guarantee that you, no one, on this, no one on this platform, no one in the chat can name me one Saudi basketball team. Not one person, because no one watches the Saudi. I can. I guarantee. Yeah, that's good. That's good for you. I can. I can. No one in the chat. No one in the chat can name a Saudi basketball team. Because I've seen people in the chat ask, "Does Saudi even have a basketball league?" No one knows because no one cares about basketball in Saudi Arabia. You played out there respectfully. No one cares about the league. I'm not gonna lie to you. No one cares. Oh, all, 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 the, players just, all, the, all the players just playing. All the players just playing. I did getting thirty five to forty thousand a month. Care. All, all the players that ain't that's NBA great. players. That's great. That's great. All right. All right. Then. So make, make, sure you, make sure you make sure you get that right. There's players in the Saudi Football League who no one has heard of making tens of twenties of millions of dollars because they were doing this long before they got Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. they were so there's that, hold on. Does that stop? Does that stop? Does that stop? Yanni? Does that, stop Dame? Does that stop money. Giannis Dame or one of them dudes from taking that deal? Hell no. So none of that, what you just uh, said. They're not going to get up. offered that deal. They're not going to get offered it. The okay, basketball cool. league does not make enough money to be offering people 400 million, double what they're Yo, offering football that's players not true. in a league that's that makes legitimate money. Giannis, yeah, hold on. Like, buddy... Hold that's on, not they have Giannis like okay. Buddy on Space Jam out there playing kids one on one for millions of dollars. Wait, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's 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 would be ready to, to leave this earth if they woke up with LeBron James money. Listen, More you talking about, dude, hold on, you talking about, dude, hold on, you talking about Saudi princes that laugh at Bill Gates' money, bro. Y'all stop this. Y'all need to do y'all research on the world, bro. That's just, that's just the problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. In order, in order, in order, in order to have that much money, you can't just be an idiot when it comes to business. You think they're willing to just throw away money and make nothing back because yes. they have so much money to lose. That's not yep. how. That's not even how the Saudi Football League operates. They're making the money back for Neymar. That's why they did it with Ronaldo. That's they're why they did it with Ronaldo. That's why. Hold on. That's why. That's why they're doing they it. Can afford. To that's why they're doing it with Ronaldo. Ronaldo is making that too. You don't think they're making their money back? On Neymar, no, no, they're not. Back. Hold on, Damo. No, they're not. And look, I'm gonna show you. The, I'm gonna send you the interviews on a private chat. Where they at, where they were asked about this for boxing, they were saying, hey, "How can you give these boxers? Boxing, hold on, how can you give Anthony Joshua 150, 120 million dollar payday, and you're not making that money back off revenue and sales? Huh, this is <laughs> the money's not the problem. This is not a problem for us. We love the entertainment. Listen, well, these dudes fight, are hold, hold on, hold on. Listen, no, no, I'm telling you, hold on. I'm telling you, hold on. I'm telling you what this Saudi princes are saying. Go look at the interviews. I'm gonna send them to y'all, bro. It ain't about." Oh, we getting money off sponsorships. Bro, these dudes are born into wealth. They will forever be wealthy because they're on the landmine of the world. In the, in the Saudi, in Saudi Arabia, they control the world with the oil, bro. That is all the Saudi money. Arabia, all Saudi dudes. Arabia, that's that's just the princess, bro. Saudi Arabia is not even a top ten economy, bro. No, you're not hearing me. When I talk about, I am hearing you. I am hearing you. I am hearing you. That's what I'm saying. Not listening. Not listening. Stop telling me I'm not listening. I'm listening. Not listening. Not listening. listening. I heard everything you said, but I'm saying though you're wrong about a certain a couple of things. Like, I'm wrong about that. From, and I was I'm, 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 I was with you. I was with you most of, most of this argument. Believe it or not, ticket. I'm not ganging up on you. I'm with you, but what I'm saying is like money wise, economic, economically, like you're just talking about the the princes and whatnot. Their their economy is not even top ten in the world. You're not you know hearing. I didn't say their economy was. You're not listening to me. I'm telling you that the Saudi princes that own these teams that own because of what these teams are, they're teams that all have they have soccer teams, uh, basketball teams, and different sports. They're all they're called clubs. They're not called teams. They're called clubs mm -hmm. because they all. Oh, they're, they're one guy 
owns all of those different clubs. So the same guy that owns the soccer team owns the basketball team. They're called clubs. These dudes who are running these, we're not talking about these dudes. Laugh at trillionaires, bro. I am keep telling you this, bro. Bro, if you see the places these dudes live, how these dudes live, y'all think that the best living is in America. That's not true, bro. These Saudi dudes, y'all need to do y'all research, bro. These dudes. I don't think the best living in America. Y'all also don't think it's in Saudi Arabia. Okay, cool. No, hey, listen. You don't have to think. I'm giving you facts. I'm gonna send you the interviews. Oh, I can't think. Hold on. I can't think I'm gonna send you interviews. I'm gonna send you interviews on the private chat of when they asked the Saudi princes, "How can you pay Anthony Joshua 120 million dollars for one night for a fight? One night for a fight when you're not making that back in revenue or sales? Do you know right. what the Saudi? Do you know what the Saudi prince said? Then did he laughed at him? He said, <laughs> yeah. "No, you right. You right. Uh, there's, there's, there's also, there's also NBA, NBA owners." That are that they they have they have completely don't have nowhere near the money. No, 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 they don't have nowhere near the money. You're not hearing me, ticket. You're not hearing me. What I'm trying to tell what I'm trying to tell you is that there's a lot of NBA owners. They don't make their money from the NBA. These dudes was rich. They bought these teams because they like to have fun. They 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 invite they invite their business partners to come watch basketball players. They don't give a damn about the money either. So it go both ways. But them Saudis ain't the only people getting money. All right, y'all. Um... That was a pretty much. DeAndre Liggins plays in the Saudi League. He was in the NBA a few years ago. I remember him. I just thought I'd share that. NBA players in Saudi. <laughs> All right, man. It's it's a ton of super chats. We're gonna go ahead and get into that. And then you already know we're about to do the worst players in NBA history. We gotta finish this list, and we still gotta finish our uh top three players for every franchise list. Pirate, I know you want to get around to that. We we we're gonna go ahead and do it. Let me go ahead and um, get into these super chats. Drink more water said nobody ever brings up the second overall pick in 2011. Derek Williams. Hmm. Derek Williams. Man. Uh, we got a couple new members. Big Smoke became a YouTube member. Word Son became a member. Uh, Current Tries became a member as well. Appreciate y'all for for all you know. Coming to the party. Welcome to the show, fellas. Welcome to the show. Ocho sent a super chat through. He said, for Damo and Chill, start bench cut, greatest Laker coaches. Byron Scott, Darvin Ham, D'Antoni. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm starting uh I'm starting Byron Scott, benching D'Antoni, and I'm cutting that terrorist. Oh, oh God, Damo. Chill. That's insane. I'm, st- I'm, I'm, I'm starting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm starting Darvinham. I'm cutting. I'm, I'm benching Dan Tony, and I'm cutting Byron Scott. Oh. Hold, hold on, hold on. He's he's hold, on. Damo, benches, Damo, hold on, Damo. You say you 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 starting who? Who you say Byron you cutting? Scott. Out of all them, I'm starting Byron Scott, and I'm cutting Darvinham. Hold on, you cut the dude that went to the Western Conference Finals. Took him the furthest. But you started start, start his first year. But you starting a dude. Furthest. You starting a dude that won 16 games. Mike that Tony. Look at their rosters. I feel like if you would have gave any of the last five Laker head coaches this roster. But even with the roster he had at first, he had a better record. Finals. Even with the roster he had at first, he had a better record than with than with uh he, he won more than give 16 any of those coach, Give any of those coaches Byron Scott's roster, they're all winning 16 games. What are we talking about? No, you're not here. Byron Scott won 17 games. Before they made the trades, he won. He won. They had already the Lakers had already cr- passed that midway through the season before he even made the trade. Do you know who was on that Byron Ross, uh, Byron Scott roster's ticket? Yeah, it was an older Kobe, like an older, older, older LeBron. It was a, it was a, uh, uh, I think it was um, Carlos Boozer was on that team, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> on Byron Scott's team, Kobe did play for Byron Scott. Did you, just, did you just compare what that Kobe Bryant was? No, I'm saying no, you know, I, I, didn't compare that. I said it was a older Kobe, just like, like it's an older LeBron. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, not I'm not saying the levels was the same. I'm just saying. They both so were older. LeBron, LeBron that? obviously that was playing at a higher level. I'm just giving you the facts. I'm all for the next super chat, Ron. I'm all for the next super chat. I don't even want to talk about this no more. I don't even like want to do I that. said, this man just this man just benched a dude that went to the Western Conference Finals. Y'all smiling, man. No, he caught him. He ain't benched him. He caught him. He ain't benched him. He ain't benched him. Hold on, chill town. He'll put Mike D'Antoni up there, and Mike D'Antoni sorry ass had Kobe and ran his ass out the ground and ended his career because he ran him through the ground. He'll put Mike D'Antoni over Darvin. And, and Mike D'Antoni and just, is crazy. And just, so, and just so you know, Dama, and just so you know, Dama, the roster got flipped at the trade deadline too. That's, that thing could have went to pieces. It could have it, it went to pieces, but it didn't. 
I don't think you get as, as much as as much as you as, as much as you roast Darvin Ham. You don't give him nearly enough credit. I literally sat. I, I literally sat and gave him credit in the playoffs with his ability to actually make adjustments. Every time he made an adjustment, which was rarely, I gave him credit. I sat here. Call him a terrorist, Damo. Call, call him a terrorist, Damo. Call him a terrorist. This dude is a first year head coach you who got the, who got his roster flipped. His best defensive player, best post player, missed almost thirty games. And on top of that, his second best player, who I think James is, missed. He was he was in and out the lineup, and the roster got flipped at the trade deadline, and he still was able to take them None to the Western Conference Champions, Western Conference Championship. And you want him out? And he just got yes. the job, by the way. It ain't like he's been on yes. the crew for eight nine years. He just got the job. But you'll take I him over Byron like Scott, lineups. right? You'll take I him over like Mike D'Antoni, who had Paul Gasol, who had twenty and oh, had almost twenty and twenty in Game Seven in two thousand ten. Put him in the corner shooting threes. This man, lumphead terrorist ham, <laughs> ran three guard lineups in the most unopportune situations. We and would go on 10 to 2 runs, 15 mm -hmm. to 5 runs, 16 yep. to 3 runs, go yep. into a timeout, and I would watch Westbrook, Schroeder, and Austin Reeves walk on the court. I'm yep. not trying to hear this. And then after the trade deadline, <laughs> I would still watch. No, it was Westbrook, it was Pat <laughs> Bev, and it was Austin Reeves. And then after the deadline, it was Schroeder, D'Lo, and Reeves. With and goddamn Rui and Wyndham Gabriel all on the court. I'm not trying to hear this. He's a terrorist. I don't want to hear. I don't care that we made it to the conference finals because we were blessed to have AD and LeBron balling when they were balling. Patrick Moore coming and doing what he was supposed to do. I'm right. happy our players produce. But if you're going to sit here and tell me, look me in my face and say, I'm supposed to just watch my coach not make adjustments when we're getting thwacks. And then when he does, it's just three point guards <laughs> on the court with LeBron at the four and Rui at the five playing against goddamn Jokic. I'm not trying to hear it. He's a terrorist. He is a terrorist, chill. You just told me you just, wait a minute. You just you just told me you gave him you, you just told me that you gave him credit for you just gave him credit for, for making adjustments. That's number one. Then I don't know what that, I just I, walked into, but facts down he he telling the truth. Then I had to watch Mike D'Antoni. Then I had to watch Mike D'Antoni with Steve Nash. I had to watch Mike D'Antoni with Steve Nash and Dwight Howard put his second best rebounder in the corner shooting threes against a team that was smaller than him. The whole time add that to the fact that that run and gun offense which wasn't working with an older steve nash mike d'antoni had to do that and he did and, and he just got the job even though he had been coaching for a while Devin darvin Ham never had a head coaching job nowhere and he took that team to the western conference championship but he a terrorist all right that seems like a rob palinka problem damo and you know what I say every time y'all want to tell me that on this panel? You know what I say? The same thing I say every time. I've okay. been blaming Rob Pelican. Then he went and made a good move, but I can't give you too much leeway because we won a championship. And the year after, you decided to abandon all the players that had reasons for us winning. And you say, you know what? Let's bring on Melo. You know what? Um, with, this roster, with this, no, 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 with this no, no, roster no. that you have, Damo, with and this Pelican roster, does Byron return. Scott make the playoffs with this roster? Yes. How far every does he go with this roster? Peak second round. We everyone, Peak everyone, round. everybody gets, everyone gets through the um, everyone gets through the Grizzlies. That's not going to be a problem. Dan Tony dealing does with that. the Warriors, dealing yes, Dan Tony gets through them. Dealing with the Warriors, mm -hmm. hey, each it, it, it might become coaching errors in some ways. Dan Tony might not get through the Warriors as Scott opposed Washington to Darvin Ham, who didn't have any Dar coaching errors Darvin, and ended up winning. Darvin, and again, I sat here. You can go back and watch the film. Mm -hmm. Each game, I'm giving him credit when he does something right. I give him credit when he makes a pro when he does something wrong. I criticize him. I don't sit here and just act like all he does is bad. I sat here and looked everyone in the face and was like, you know what? I was a little too hard on him because he actually, this right here, this segment right here, at this moment in third when he did this rotation, that's actually nice. And we need to keep doing that. And when it happened, we won. When we got to the Nuggets and LeBron refused to be LeBron and I'm sitting here wondering, why the hell is Wendell Gabriel in in the fourth quarter? What are we going to do? And then game four, you decided to not put Gabriel in and put Trisha Thompson in, who showed good energy. All I said was, damn, we could have used this the other three games. But that's it. But for the majority of the season, those Rams Random Tuesday nights in November that none of y'all was watching the Lakers play the damn magic? I was, and I watched this stuff. Y'all not about to call me no casual about these goddamn Lakers. I could be a casual to 29 other teams in this goddamn league. One team I'm not a casual of is my goddamn team. I watched my coach and sat in spaces repeatedly afterwards agreeing with other Laker fans that I just see what I just seen because I know I'm not crazy. I can be a tad bit extra. I can be a little overdramatic. I get that. So I asked people to confirm. Yeah. 
yeah, a little was crazy. But a I need crazy. other people's opinions to confirm what I'm saying. <laughs> bro, I watched this man, Darvin Ham, watch AD put productive minutes together and then bench him. And you can say it's because of the timeline, him trying to rest him, whatever it is. It's still not opportune to me just to put him back in when there's no point of him being in. I've seen it. I've watched it happen with the bad roster and the good roster. It's repeatedly happened. I had a panty up voice. You want a virtual hug, man? You need uh, it's a, Domo, it's Domo, a lot can of pain. We, can we, I want the terrorists off my team with the lump in his head. <laughs> Give but me Domo, a new coach. We... I want Frank Vogel back. I have not been happy since Frank Vogel Frank left. Vogel this is crazy. But Domo, can we can we can we all agree? Can we all agree? Everybody together, all eight of us up here, and all couple thousand people watching. Can we all agree that not cutting Mike D'Antoni is egregious? And we got to cut Mike D'Antoni. Why wasn't Lonnie Walker playing all year, guys? Why did y'all just see Lonnie Walker and then magically Lonnie Walker just getting DMPs? Why was that? Someone tell me. Wait, what, what, was, was, what was it? Did he cut his hair again? Okay, huh? Was it a hairstyle? Okay. Wait, what was, what was the original question? Because I'm. What was the original question? The reason. Okay, okay, so we, oh, oh, we, we got to go on. on we gotta I know we got to move on really quickly. Just so you know, Damo, your crew, because. I'm not a casual either. I also watch your Lakers. And your roster, even before the trade deadline, is full of one-dimensional guys. And when you have a bunch of one-dimensional guys, it's really hard to keep that same rotation. So you got a guy like Lonnie Walker who doesn't really defend that well. Now, all of a sudden, you're on a crew where the team defensively has gone up. So you got a guy like Malik, a guy, a guy like Malik Beasley who shoots the long ball. He doesn't really do much else. He doesn't really do much else but shoot the three ball. And if he's not shooting the three ball, what is his role on the crew? Why is he on the floor? Because he doesn't defend. Well, the same idea is going on with Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker doesn't really defend that well. So if Lonnie Walker isn't scoring the basketball, what else is he doing? <laughs> yeah. Yo, chill, chill. Fam, what did Troy Brown do? <laughs> tell me tell me what hand Troy Brown shoots with, Chill. What does Troy Brown do for a basketball team? Let me know. What does Troy Brown do? I, I, I think he defends. That's why he no, he he, that's how he's in the no, rotation. He, he doesn't he wouldn't defend air in, in, in against an airbender. <laughs> he wouldn't do anything. He's a turnstile. <laughs> He's a, he's just a jersey. He's a number. He's a player on the team. For all my 2K players, he's John Davis on the throwback teams back when, before they filled out rosters. That's who Troy Brown was for us. But he was getting minutes over Lonnie Walker. Why okay, is yeah, Wendell Gabriel allowed to have a basketball jersey? Why? Okay, just just to give you context true? on what he said with that, because I know you don't play 2K. So, like, say if they had an old school team, but they don't have a license for their player. So they just put a random dude. With no attributes, no badges, none on the team, just to fill a roster spot. So that's what he comes to about. He's just a roster filler. Gotcha. I know that 2K that's ball went over your head. That 2K uh, ball went over your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All know. right, so on, on to the other super chats. Random guy speaks said ticket getting in his hating bag for, for getting his hating bag ready for <laughs> getting his hating bag for Wimby ready. That's not yeah, really some not some real that. church lady not, vibes going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I hold on. Wait, I didn't understand the whole detriment of y'all trying to crucify him over that. Don't that show good leadership skills with him? Because he's doing something with his teammate who's pacing that <laughs> every other half of the game. What do y'all want to do? I didn't pick with his <laughs> team. I like that. Y'all literally know there's one player on this team who changes hair color every half of the game, and it's not that it was hairspray. So it's literally going. Right. I don't. Yeah. So somebody act. Y'all went over my head leader, that. that, that, That's the new form of leadership, right? Acting like a guy that gonna prove. Oh, okay, go go ahead. <laughs> If you think he's a leader, Boy, Ziki, he's a leader. Leader chemistry, by example. Chemistry with your team, <laughs> your team, man. Supporting your teammate who like to spray his hair a different color, like a wrestler, man. It's cool. That's cool. Yeah, man, so I know how to support him. <laughs> it's called it's called it's called BDA. Beat that ass. Go ahead, Ron. <laughs> Zudo, Zudo said Grayson Allen is the Indomitian Sioux of the NBA. LOL. No, he is not. No, he's not. Oh, don't, don't disrespect the Indomitian Sioux like that. That's crazy. Right. I don't even know what he means by that. No, dirty dirty man said, "Good to see, oh, dirty, good to see the real top left back." <clears throat> Damn, who's the fake top left? <laughs> you got rock bottom his ass out of here. What? <laughs> Bino said, "Ticket and Chill are scared of hair dye." <laughs> they just, they just old school, bro. They just old school. Yeah. Just These old. kids today with their hula what? hoops and their slinkies. Oh yeah, Paris. Too. Hold on, wait. But that's what I hate about y'all. Old school, like y'all didn't let Prince run run around with all them leotards and the net. Shoes. Yeah, I thought I was old school. Okay, just so you know, with, with, with Prince and Rick James wearing red high heel boots, just because they was doing it, you think we was just like, yo, that's dope? No, we wasn't. <laughs> we was not like, yo, that's dope. But Prince was like, 
We wasn't like, like we, we was cool. wasn't like yo, y'all like we was cool. Chill, they act like we was cool with Dennis Rodman and stuff, bro. We used, to, we used to vilify him for that stuff, bro. We wasn't. Bro. Yeah, you guys have been weird for four years. I mean, flex, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Large, you crazy, bro. <laughs> MC Robinson said, okay, ticket and chill. You two have a problem with Wimby dyeing his hair when there's multiple different players in the league that dye their hair different colors. Cooked all their ass. They got a problem with all of them. The last one of them. Oh, no, wait, ticket. Did you do that to Jason Kidd when he had the Eminem blonde cut? Didn't rock with it. Say he look, say he's like a goddamn on fool out there. And you see how, how quick he got up off of it, too. <laughs> he looked wild as hell with that haircut, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. That was the uh, cleaning out my cars era, so you know that's why that went that far. Forty Cal says Shaq Army. Alan R said Tony Parker not a fashion demon for real. Nah, sh Tony Parker just like taking his teammates' girls. Mm. <laughs> well, which one's worse? Down your head with your teammate or the taking his wife? The, the, the second part, for sure. Yeah. Shout out Jason Richardson. Uh, Random guy speaks said I'm seeing a lot of. "Quote unquote, get off my lawn!" <laughs> energy here, fellas. It's just here. Y'all out here acting like he's going to turn into Antonio Brown or something. We're gonna find out. Yeah, yeah we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We <laughs> still gonna be like we told y'all, so he don't play well when they start cooking him on that. Watch. We'll find I, just, out. I, I still can't believe dying your hair is a gateway drug. No, I mean y'all, y'all could easily be right, but I just don't think. How old is Wimby exactly right now? Yeah, is he like 19 years old? Yeah, He's that, a kid, that's man. Age, He's... That's around the age group. Huncho said, chill and ticket. Y'all sound foolish, to be honest. Acting like Wimby has character issues and getting DUIs, staying out late, etc. Just dyed his hair. That's it. Huncho, we don't even know this dude. We don't know nothing about him. But what we know? do know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know this dude, Taylor. Hey, chill. How old are these cats, bro? That dude, that Huncho dude, got to be like 20 years old. Right. King shot a 442 said Steph Curry just declared himself the GOAT PG all time in a sit down interview with Gilbert Arenas. What are your thoughts? Also, no problem with that. I don't have no problem with that because when you, at that, when you at that level, you can consider yourself being a monster great. You know what I'm saying? You, you, the, the, problem I have, the problem I have is. Is it if you if you get disrespectful with it? If Curry thinks he the best, it is what it is. Just like if LeBron thinks he the goat, it is what it is. He got, he got, I, think, I, think I think he said the conversation is him and Magic. That's it. That's 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 that's, 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 the, that's the truth though. It's the truth. I mean, that's the truth. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. You, uh, you can still throw uh, Isaiah in that conversation. Isaiah and Lord, for goat. And Jason Kidd. Unless, unless you do what OG do and don't count as a point guard, that's it. Yes. And even uh, if I on. did count him as a point guard, no, no, there's, no, no, uh, there's no argument you can make for Isaiah over Magic. No, no, no we're not. Yeah, yeah, at least so Muggsy has, has the pound for pound argument. So he has that's no not... case to be the GOAT, so he's not in the conversation. None of them have a case over Magic. None of them. That's perfectly fine. You can't be in the GOAT conversation if there's no argument for you to be the GOAT. Then that's fine. You disagree with Steph. That's cool. Well, chill. Do you agree? Do you agree with me? Do you think it's an argument for Isaiah? An argument for him to be the best ever, the best point guard? No, I don't. Wonder if he wasn't. He wasn't better than Magic. No. No, I'm saying. Do you think it's an argument for him to be in like at the top at that like top two? Oh, in 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 top two. Yes, absolutely. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's not in the conversation. Yeah, no doubt. No, I think y'all missed the point of Mars saying, like, if you can't make a case for him to be better than Magic, then how is he in the conversation? Like, with LeBron yeah. and Jordan, you can make a case. Wait a minute, just because be I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait if wait, I'm wait, clearly wait, better, wait. it's not a conversation. No, no. How are you in the conversation for best point guard ever if you can't make an argument for him to be the best point well, guard? Well, he beat ever? Magic. That make sense. He, he, he beat Magic, he beat Larry, and he beat Mike. The, so, Pistons, I mean, the Pistons beat the Magic, and the Pistons yeah, beat good, the Celtics. Right, but he was the leader. Oh, he was the leader. Of the Okay. He, he okay. was a leader. I mean, Y'all always say I, I, winning is a team that. of comp. Y'all always yeah. say winning is a team of comp. The, 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 the Pistons beat the Celtics. I'm, I'm, I'm Mag Magic was her. Like, what? Well, I'm not. Magic and, and, was her. And, and, I'm going down the logic that y'all Ma Ma Magic, Magic was hurt. And just so you know, Isaiah Thomas had a season ending injury, that ankle injury. Uh, any, anybody that's playing in today, they, in, they they're done for the playoffs. He put he scored twenty five. They still lost, I'm, but he yeah, scored twenty five, which is a record to this day. So the that's idea true. that Magic got hurt, we can't use that logic because Isaiah you got can't, hurt. You can't say he beat played. Magic when Magic played like what two games, one game. He played two games in that series. Yeah, he, he beat Magic. Magic ain't playing. Like, huh? If he, Magic if he got broke on the court, down. 
Yeah, Ma- yeah. Magic, Magic, yeah, and, and, broke, and that's why Magic you broke give, down. You still give the Pistons just, credit for the ring, but you don't. Oh, he beat Magic Bird. I might. Magic didn't play. Like oh, he, well, he, he, didn't, he didn't. He didn't play enough. He he played in the series. He just didn't play enough. That was the problem. Sure, yeah, if he, but like, if he got, he didn't he play got, enough. He wasn't, if, he got, if he got on the court, he got injured. Ain't no excuse for that, Mars. It is what it is with that. Yeah, he but got no, on the court, got injured, and no. then couldn't play. Oh, gee, you know. OG, you know my logic. I agree with like the players and counting like that, but I'm just saying we can't have it both ways. So what is we gonna stick to? Is it the team accomplishment or we gonna get the players individual credit? That's my point. We problem. already know what it is. The reason was the reason every why day we're is a the reason, thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. The reason why we're winning, the reason why we win in NBA championships, don't get me wrong, the mm. crew has a lot to do with it, but there's a guy that's mm. the that's one of the main reasons why we're doing it. Okay. So let's not make it sound like yo, we're doing it all, all always as a collection. There's a reason why the Houston Rockets won the NBA championship in back-to-back seasons. As good as that team was, it was because of Olajuwon. Isaiah, so Isaiah, stir, Isaiah stirred the cup for the Detroit Pistons. He stirred the cup. That ain't, that ain't no lie. Agreed. I 100% agree with y'all. All right, y'all. We are going to go ahead and get into the rest of this uh, list for the three best players for every franchise. Um, as you can see, we got the first 19 teams. Our first eight, yeah, first eighteen teams. We did the Celtics. You can see Knicks, Nets. Yeah, that cat, that cat pick ended Raptors. the last stream. <laughs> that cat pick ended the last stream. We're like, yeah, we got to get off. We got to put cat up there. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Who was better than him in Minnesota history? Who I, I him? mean, Minnesota is, is slim that, pickings, man. <laughs> that's the greatest shoot big man ever. Hey. All right, so right now we have the OKC Thunder. Is that the you Sonics? Mean the, the, you mean the, the Sonics? I'm, I'm, you mean the I'm, Sonics. Not trying, I'm not trying to be funny. Are, are we doing this? Uh, is it uh, do the Sonics? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, no, no, I, no hold it's on, the hold franchise. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If I were, I'm, I'm trying to round, round at the list. I want to know if uh, are the Sonics somewhere on there or is this what's, what's the deal? No, no, no. The OKC is the Sonics. The Sonics. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, right, cool, cool. Just wanted to make sure. All right, okay. All right. Uh, we're going to kind of do it similar to how we did last time. Um. We're gonna start with Mars. We're gonna go Mars Pirate Ticket yes, Mars, SB. As a matter of fact, Bob. Yes, he Chill, did Mars. Damo. Oh, you 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 say Steph yes, yes. and Kyrie in fifteen. Nah, that's when you. I just disagree. Um, Pirate, your vote gonna count this time. Yay! Hey. Yeah, Pirate. <laughs> it counted last time. Sometimes. <laughs> Pirate is Who on you, you got Mars for that's the Thunder. Katie. Katie. Katie? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't want I don't want to say it, but KD. The dude that Domo hate the most. Russell Westbrook. Oh, you already know. Mm. You, you spend more years there. Russell Westbrook. Okay. Uh Kevin Durant. <laughs> obviously Gary Payton. But yeah, I would say I, want, Gary I Payton wanted Durant. to say no, I wanted to say Peyton, Bob. Yeah, I wanted yeah, to say Peyton. I'm bugging one. right now, but okay. Number one. Oh, well, okay. Yes. The Ranchula. Stop playing with KD. Who you Dom got? Say KD, chill. Russ. What about you? Russ? Russ. Okay, All right. You got it. KD gets the first one. We have voted KD as the best player for the third. Hey, hey, Ron, I want to throw this in real quick. The reason why I said Russ, because he accomplished more as an OKC Thunder than KD. That's what he people won, missing to get. Let's, he won, let's take he won the MVP just like KD did. And then not only that, he won the triple double awards, all the other stuff. Like I said, to me, he accomplished more. Y'all thinking about KD. Y'all thinking about KD. Y'all thinking about KD as a better player than Russ. We're talking about an Oklahoma KD City was there funding. for eight years. Yeah, and Russ was there for 11. Yeah, and KD in eight was better than Russ in 11. Are you sure? Man. Even though, the, yeah, even though the, even oh, Russ, 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 Russ bringing an extra three first round exits, respectfully, that's not more than what KD did. Even KD, so, even though, KD even, brought, even though, KD, even though, we can go the accolade route. KD brought an MVP, many yeah. more top three finishes in the MVP, yeah. more scoring titles, yeah. more All NBA predictions. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. just a better player. Like, I'm sorry, the extra and three years of Russ. Be, not doing I don't know, Mars. Absolutely, Mars. And, with said, Mars. And, and with that being no, said, Mars. And with that being said, Mars. And with that being said, Mars. The other one. I'm, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, Mars, because that's very important to mention. Even though you left out the fact that with him doing that, he also had a 22 and eight guy for eight of those seasons that he did that. that yeah, Russ was great. The so when Russ leaves, so we, so so when KD leaves. What Russ is doing in terms of production, it goes up. So now I'm I'm leading the league in scoring again. I'm taking my team to the playoffs without you. 
I'm taking my team to the playoffs. I'm winning the league MVP without you. You won the league MVP with me. I did it without you well, here well, in Oklahoma well, City. Russ missed like. I mean, and, well, Russ, Russ, Russ did well, one year. Here. Russ did Russ. one year by himself, and after that, he had Paul George with him, who was having an like MVP caliber year with Russ as well. So it wasn't right. even just Russ producing and doing all his production. No, no, no. It shows me. It shows me. Year was, one year was him. That was the historic year. Right. The right. other years he had, he had a guy. He had a dog next to him. He had an adequate guy. One hundred percent. He was the best player on the team. The first one was historic. Yes, I said. Okay, so and then stay hold on. Let's think about this. And then you have Paul George. But hold on, we talking about levels. He did raise Paul George's level to an MVP level. Paul George wasn't considered on no MVP level until he went and played with Russ. Don't be I mean, KD, KD won the vote. KD won the vote. Can we can we do number two? Russ is my number. Russ is my number two. I agree. Yeah. You said Russ Moss? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Russ, Russ and Pyro both. Or, or Mars and Pyro both went with Russ. Who you got? Uh, ticket. I gotta go Russ because I can't pick KD. Go ahead. <laughs> SB. Hold on, my fault. The old lady was calling me, going crazy. Uh, Russ. Ox. Gary Payton. Oh, Gary. I thought was... you know, asked me. Go oh. meet you. You last, Domo. Domo already hating. That's crazy. <laughs> no, so, I got I, I got Gary Payton. Uh, I'd have been on that. Hey, hey, Ron. I'm sorry you did that. I was gonna ask you. Did that include Seattle too? I was just gonna ask you that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Uh, Hold yeah. on, Ron. That includes Seattle. Hold on. That includes yeah, yeah. Seattle. Yeah, that's that's oh, that's why that's why that's why I, 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 I changed my whole first pick. Hold on. I changed my whole first pick. I'm going with Gary Payton too. That's that's why. That's why I asked before we started. Yeah, Katie still doesn't change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Westbrook to GP. No, no, no. I'm saying, yeah, no, no. I'm saying. If, I didn't know that we was doing Seattle too in the first in the first round that you just did. It's if we was doing it's Seattle, the franchise. I, yeah, I'm saying I think between the two, I think Gary Payton had a better tenure with Seattle than KD did with with OKC. Mm -hmm. Okay, KD still, well, KD still, still won. won. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, his one well, is hold on though. So, so we we already got KD as the first player. We vote in the second player ticket. Are you going Westbrook or are you going Gary Payton? I'm going GP. All right, chill, Russ. Gary Payton. All right. That's I'm not I'm not I'm not okay. Okay. He made it clear that he didn't play in Oklahoma City. They asked that they, they they requested to retire his jersey. He said no because I did not play in Oklahoma. But that, City. but t but Chilton, that, that's that's irrelevant though because we still we still doing the whole franchise. He he might not want it in OKC, but we we talking about the whole we're doing we're, we're running right. supersonics too. But when it, when this expansion happened and Seattle get come back, they gonna get their history back though, right? Right. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that's what he waiting. But they on, not they not there yet though. It's it's finna it's finna come. See, I, don't think I know it's, I know it's coming. Like I know for a fact it's coming, but it just hasn't happened yet. So we got yeah. we, right now. We got, yeah, that that two it, to me they're yeah. two different franchises. But I get combining them. While Seattle doesn't have a team, so yeah, uh, it's the same franchise. All right, no, because when, when they when they when they bring back Seattle, OKC is not going. to Seattle's going to be Seattle. That'll Seattle. be a new franchise. That, yep. I yeah, mean, it'll have the same name, gonna, but it'll be a different still franchise. Still going to be the seventy-nine NBA. We have to go hard, nor Nick, uh, Nick, but, but, uh, Gary, Payton, Gary Payton. Once they Gary, lose, Gary, Gary Payton. <laughs> Gary Payton. Gary Payton. You you chose Gary Payton, Mars. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Pirate. You got you win GP ticket. Who Absolutely. you got? KD and Russ are off the board. No, I already went. But this is the third one. Oh, yes. I'm going Ray Allen. Ray Allen. Wait, you not? You just went. Okay. GP, the glove. Nick Collison. <laughs> so you ain't gonna say that. <laughs> well, I mean, G, GP, GP's gonna, GP, GP's gonna win this one, so I don't need to. Well, Domo's not gonna vote for GP, up. so it's not a guarantee. He won. He got it. Chill. We got GP, Nick Collison, Ty. I'm just showing love to Nick Collison because Gary Payne's gonna win. His jersey team. is in the Raptors. Nick Collison. Oh shit! Oh, see, now it's two two. No, oh, two, two. Oh, oh, see? See? <laughs> oh, it's on me. Yeah. OG, OG with the sneak nastiness. Oh yeah. OG uh, be a Barry bad. Jones. <laughs> hold on, Barry Jones. Said, hold on. Y'all really say that over Ray Allen kill? Are you serious, bro? Nick 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 Collison Nick Collison deserves some love for what he's put on. No 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 no, no 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 no. Let, let's be real. Over Ray Allen, bro. Ray might be watching the show, bro. Son, so fuck that bar. Uh, hey man. Ray, Steph, she's better than you, buddy. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Y'all talking about disrespect. Hey, Ron, my vote is Perry Jones. Shout out to Ray Allen. 
Nah, that's not shot. Ray Allen, 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 I wasn't. I'm not trolling because I, I, I think I think Gary Payton should have been number one, and Kevin Durant should have been number two, and Nick Collison should have been number three. Yeah, well, that's all right, I'm, so I'm we, got, we got the Portland Trailblazers next. As you can see, the OKC Thunder they went Kevin Durant as the best player, Russell Westbrook as the second best player, Gary Payton is the third best player. Now we got the Portland Trailblazers. Mars mm. is on. Mm, it's gonna be a good one. Clyde's. Pirate. This is tough because I really want to factor longevity. That's why I didn't say the person who's the best player to ever play for the team. I'm, I'm yeah, saying, but he is by oh, far the yeah. best player to but ever he, play yeah, for the team. Best <laughs> he's definitely and so. and he achieved so much team success and individual. I got to go, Bill Walton. Mm. Take it. Who you got for the Blazers? Oh, I'm not going with no weak knee, broke ass dude. I'm going with Clyde. <laughs> I'm pushing the agenda, Bill Walton. Uh, Clyde, easy. Rex. Clyde. Oh, ag agenda failed. <laughs> I can't put two years at the top. I can't. Yeah. Wait, Even such a good two player. years, though. Two and, two and a half. half. Yeah, he's the best two player to ever play for the team. But two and a half. Not... He played less than he played less than 200 games for them. Yeah. No, he played like 210 or something. But uh, Bill, yeah, Bill's point, not point taken. Any of my votes for this? One. Bill, Bill will get my third place vote, but he maybe, get, maybe he will not get my second vote because that will go to Damian Lillard. Oh shit! I forgot. <laughs> I'll, I'm tripping. What the fuck is wrong with me? I gotta go, Walton. <laughs> I gotta go, Walton. Ticket. Hey, who you got for the second pick? Yeah, uh, Drex is off the board. Yeah, uh, for the second pick, give me um, – Just say his name, Ticket. He, he got beef with Dame right now. So. I know. No, 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 just no, 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 you know what I'm gonna go with? I'm gonna Very go important. with uh, no. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Uncle Cliffy. With Robinson? <laughs> yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's my beef with Dave. I told you. I could have hey, took I could have won him. I could have won him or Stab <laughs> wins Victor Terry Porter. I could have won one of those guys. <laughs> Let me you buy that. Anybody who has any actual I case. <laughs> I got it's, called, it's called I got beef dollar. with Damian Lillard. Who you say, SB? I got dollar. Dollar? Okay. So you got. So it's 2 one, one. Um, I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go with Dame, too. Give me Dame Dollar, for sure. For sure. I mean, no Dame. Doubt. Thomas Robinson. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't say that name. Uh, before, before, before we go any further, this dude in the chat, G Life, is that what you're saying? Can you give us <laughs> can you give us legit logic, G Life, why we gotta pick Terry Porter over Damian Lillard or Clyde Drexler? All I'm asking you to do, you specifically, sir, give us legit logic why Terry Porter is ahead of both Clyde Drexler and Damian Lillard. We're all ears, my man. Maybe, go ahead. Maybe he's maybe he's just showing love, love to Terry love Porter. Terry even Porter if he, even, even if he's showing love to him. We we can we we can shout these dudes out, but we're talking about the best players in the history of their franchise, the three best. What I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna talk about the greatest rappers of all time, but then show love to the twelfth rapper ever, twelfth best rapper ever. I'm not doing that. Hey, so again, I'm not good 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 I, 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 I do think you're disrespecting what Terry Porter did in Portland. I know how awesome he was. Uh oh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing no, he's that. He's on my short list. Oh, oh. But 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 when yeah, we talking okay. about the best players to ever play for a franchise, the top three players, Terry Porter is not in that conversation. No, he isn't. He I got five though. Top five though. He'd be third if it was the Timberwolves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Mark. laughs> All right, Morris. Who you got? We Dave's uh, no. off the board. Clyde Drexler's off the board. Who is the third best player in Blazers history? Bill Walton. Hmm. Yeah. About time, pal. Yeah. On, on the verge of being a dynasty MVP, one of the few true control towers on offense and defense, Bill Walton. I heard what I said. Y'all don't drop that shit. You break that shit, you can pay for it. 
Pogba. <laughs> Yo, t- <laughs> Ticket. Who's the third best player in Blazers history? Imagine working know. for Ticket. <laughs> um, you break it to buy it. <laughs> My bad. I was talking to the maid. She dropped some some shit. She be breaking some stuff sometime around here. Don't be telling me and stuff. I find it broken when, when she gone. Right now, we we finna get that shit straight now. What, 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 what um, Bernie Mac said. I know who, ain't nobody else living in here but me. So when something get broke, dog. I know who did it. Nah, <laughs> hey, I, hey, I'm going with Lamarcus Aldridge. Yeah, that's just beef with Dame. That's not bad. That's not bad. Even if Dame's already been picked. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mars Black. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, SB, who you got? Uh, Bill Walton. 100 blocks, 100 threes. Who's that? Rasheed Wallace. Chill. Bill Walton. Bonzo Dabba. Wells. Mm. Respect. Surprised no one says Scotty Pippen, man. Bonzi, like yeah. Bonzi. Why everybody get, why everybody get B Roy some love, man? Shout out B Roy. Uh, why, oh. t- why not? Why not? Why not Tino, Damo? Oh, the, I'm glad Mars got. First. Oh, the Detroit. Jazz, and I have first. Yes, yeah, yes. yes. do it, man. Oh, 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 come on, yeah. yeah. In all honesty, Alex, Mars, there's nothing you can do about this, Mars. He's getting yeah, he will go number one, but I should, this should go pretty quick. You should, he will go yes, number you one, will. but I am not picking. Yes, you will, because you have integrity yeah. and you you appreciate John Stockton, the truth. John Stockton, John Stockton, yeah. Mars got that's a good that's a good pick. John Stockton is a good pick. You said Mars got integrity. You must don't know him. <laughs> yeah, I guess. John, At least Mars Stockton. had to say John Stockton. So <laughs> it's a I lose lose to. situation I'm just, I'm just for him. I'm just showing respect to John Stockton, man. John Stockton, number one. No, we, we we all know the answer. It's the mailman. Mm-hmm. See, why, why don't you call him by his name? The milkman yes, name. goes number two. Carl. Who you got? Jay Malone. Yes. Hideous. <laughs> You have to separate the artist from the art sometimes. No one to do that. No one to do that. I'm good. I I, I already live in a city where they do that enough. In Chicago. Mars, you know that. Mars, you know he's R and B rap. I ain't got to say his name. So I already live in a city where they do that enough. So Mm -hmm. I just want to know. I just want to make sure we clear, Mars. You know that he was in the league when this came out, and nobody. It it was like a blip on the screen. Yeah, nobody said. But then, but Dennis Rodman dyes his hair, and all hell breaks loose. Yeah, (laughs) nobody (laughs) said nothing about. And Mary Mary himself, and all. (laughs) Yeah, Dennis Rodman Rodman dyes his hair and wears a dress. Everyone talks about. Mars, Mars, someone's a predator. Oh, oh, we just rushed out into the room. Hey, Mars, welcome to America. Yo, ticket. Who you got? Best player in jazz history. And y'all crucified y'all with a gun. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, you 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 already know you gotta go with uh, Carl. Mm -hmm. All right, SB. Oh, John Stockton. Nice. I got hey man, y'all, y'all, y'all doing that just because I, I got the, I got yes, the, I got the, yes, I got yes, this, yes, I got yes, yes, I got a top, a top, a top three power forward of all time. Call him Malone, 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 Damo, Malone. I Carl Malone John takes Stockton the cake. All right, number two, who we got? John Stockton, Pirate. John Stockton. Take it. Stockton. SB. Carlos Boozer. <laughs> Ox. John, John Stockton. I got a statue of the dude outside the arena, yo. Come on. John Stockton. All right, number three, who we got? Rudy Gobert. Are you serious? <laughs> that's not a bad pick. That's not a bad pick. That's not a bad pick. The Jazz. That is not a great pick. Who you, you got, pick Rudy? Rudy? Yeah, you pick Rudy. That's not a bad. I've got pick. one of the most Rudy underappreciated. <laughs> go Bert. Go Bert. Oh, I thought he said Rudy. Rudy. Yeah, y'all yeah, about to say, huh? I mean, I'm a fan of Rudy, but uh, come on, uh, a- averaging 30 points for you seven you straight eight? years. Yeah. One of the most underappreciated players. I mean, I don't understand why he doesn't get love today. Everyone mm-hmm. loves Carmelo. If you love mm-hmm. Carmelo and you don't love Adrian Dantley, one of the most efficient scorers, high volume scorers to ever play the game, Adrian Dantley. Where's Adrian Dantley's defensive priority is? Where, where, where's uh, Gobert's 30 points a game for, uh, for d- seven defense, years? D- d- defense wins championships, buddy. <laughs> Bro, I mean, he was just a great 
Great, great score. Great score. Mm-hmm. And Rudy Gobert is a great, great, great defender. Oh, I like this Mars and Yeah, but he... <laughs> 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 he just knew I was going to say uh, Adrian Danley. The, 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 I want to say back and He believes Adrian Danley. He believes Adrian Danley. I, I, I swear to you. <laughs> Maybe, but I want to see if I can split the video. <laughs> He's trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. Three defense for ideas. Pick it. Who you got? <laughs> Darren Williams. See, we're at three way tie. Mm-hmm. Darren Williams. I All thought right. this was going to be oh, automatic. Push, pushing the, I, would, I would take it. Darren Williams. Let's go. I like it. Mm. Play that Illinois. Show some love from the city. I was going to pick Jerry Slayer. Why do people not appreciate Adrian Danley? I don't understand. I appreciate Adrian Danley. I don't know. I just think I did. No, Adrian Danley. I, 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 uh, I, I think it was an argument between Darren Williams and Chris Paul when he was in yeah, Utah, who were the best point guard in the world at that time. It was. That was a real conversation. Me, that was, was a real a conversation. conversation. It was. It was. Oh, for me, before before I make my pick, let me just go ahead. Let me shout out Jeff Hornacek. Let me let me shout out Mamet Okur. And mm. let me pick Donovan Mitchell. Mm. Donovan Mitchell. All right, chill. Who you got? Adrian Danley. That Danley pick. That was a good pick, though. You think think Danley at that time was better than Wade Dunn? You pick Crystal Pete, Dama? Yes. Adrian Danley was playing it in your MVP level. I'm not saying, hold on. I'm not saying just off the numbers. I'm saying because. I'm saying because we literally was having a conversation of who was the best point guard in the world at the time between CP3 and Darren Williams. Darren Williams was an animal, bro. That was true. Hey, remember, yeah, he was I don't know. It, it seems yes, so it many was. people are into getting buckets these days. And a guy who gets buckets and get get buckets, get buckets. Adrian Danley was a walking bucket. This guy was 30 points no, no, a game no, no, on no, near no, no, 60%. No, 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 um, don't get me I wrong, with Paul Paul Paul, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that I like Darren because he got buckets and he ran the team too to the highest level. That team in Utah, he made people kind of – he didn't make the fall off from Malone and Stockton feel like he was used falling off Mount Everest. When him and Boozer was I mean, over there, they surprised and – Car- and Andre Kerlink on them, they surprisingly made everybody say, damn, these dudes got fun. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. No, he and, – and he was good. And I don't want to diminish one player to hype another, but just Dan Lee did it for so long at such a high level. It, I, I don't understand why he's not talked about more. I, I, I he's getting buckets in the 80s. That's why. Mark, uh, Ron, you got to <laughs> So is Jordan and Burke. But we put Alex English number one for the number. Yeah, we put Alex English. I don't know about that one. in the big man league, too. So So it's the same time when he's averaging. Yeah, Andy was doing a 6'5". It's pretty pretty amazing. I don't know. He wasn't 6'5", by the way. He wasn't even that big. And he was averaging 30 games in the big man league. Moses Malone, Jabbar, all the the great big men are running around in the NBA during that time, man. Dude, and he's going to be a game at like 57, 58, 59 yeah. percent. Ron, make no, it. Uh, you, you, you got your team. Danley and, and, and Williams, right? I uh, already chose. Yeah, right. Adrian oh, okay. Danley's taking the cake. Okay, Warriors. Oh, this is easy. Yeah, right. yeah this is pretty, pretty, pretty cut and went, dry. It went Carl Malone, John Stockton, Adrian Danley. Now we have the Warriors. Mars, it's on you. Shout out Chris yeah. Mullen. Shout out Purvis Short. Sleepy Floyd. But yes. Take it who you got. What team we talking about? Warriors. State Warriors. Who who uh let me think. Uh oh, you got well, you gotta you gotta go with the baby face. Mm-hmm. All right, SB. Wardell. Steph, yeah, Steph for sure. Curry. Come on. Steph. Damn, Steph. Is this the first sweep? Well, yeah, no, I think uh, Jordan, Steph, I think Steph sure is into Jordan. winning things unanimously. I think, I think, That's kind of his thing. Well, yeah, yeah. This, is the first, this is the first time where the last vote didn't just pick someone randomly. Like Steph just yeah, when well, no, we did Steph. Jordan, I picked Derrick Rose, so Jordan did to get unanimous. I was trolling. Yeah, I picked Bob Love, so. <laughs> Shout out Steph. I, mean, I, I could have tried to make it interesting and say somebody else, but it wouldn't have been right. I mean... No, nah, Chris, Chris Mullen wouldn't have added up. Which call wouldn't have added up? Mm-hmm. All right. Who is number two? We got Stefan number one. Who are we going with second? Well, 
Yeah, I think if you play six years for a team and average 45 and 25, that's good enough for two. Will. You got a ticket? Uh, and the Warriors, i probably say uh, Mullins. SB. Over Will Chamberlain. Oh yeah, we can. Well, we'll that. play. We'll play for more different teams. I think that Mullins played more. But he played time. a solid. He played a solid six years for the Warriors. They're not hard I mean, Steph. Steph yeah, yeah, really yeah, just yeah, broke yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of his yeah, records I, in the I, last year. Listen, I, 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 listen you, you give me either way. I'm not going. I'm not going to argue with you. I, I'm just talking about for overall. I, I give Mullen more credit for more time over there, and you know what I'm saying. That's mm-hmm. all. Yeah. No, I love Mullen. Mullen's the man. SB. Um, hmm. I'm, I got like three people that I want to put in one of them is the, just to push because we did something last. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Will too just to get them out the way. Will deserve it. Hey, turn your computer off when you're talking. Just go off the memory of your brain. Let's see how much basketball you really know. That's why whenever you and and and, and Lamont and them come over here, y'all get your ass cooked. <clears throat> What? Use your, you, use your computer, computer if you like. Turn that screen on. Hold on, let me let me let me log in the basketball. This how you, this how you, this how you get practice right here, SB. This, see, you come over here with us. Your debating skills is gonna be on another level. You stay over there, it's gonna be in the thumbs, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, it's all you, Rick Berry. That's that's one of my names I was talking about too. And that's gonna be my third pick, so. Chamberlain. I'm on. Well, Will got it. Will is also another player that we can add to the most high team list. He was Rob, we should have said three just because he choked the coach. <laughs> All right, Mars, who you got? Uh, it's between Rick Barry and Nate Diamond, but I'm gonna go with Rick Barry. Rick got one pirate, has to be Rick Barry, has to be Rick Barry. Ticket, what direction are you going? Man, Spreewell. He choked out the coach and survived to play another day in the NBA. <sighs> and he did what and he did what the majority of the people in America want to do with their balls. Facts. Hey, that, that, that's true. That <laughs> hey, yo, he, and, hey, and, and kept his job too, by the way. He ended PJ Carlos reputation around the league, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Latrell uh, Spreewell was my favorite player for a good a good since, since we since we put somebody on the list last for being short, and I know the one of the picks that I have in a win, so I'm gonna say KD just to troll. So Kevin Durant. Don't troll us, SB. Rick Barry finna win. We know that. KD deserves no votes in this one. Um hey, Rick Barry. Chill. I mean, I don't think it's I don't think it's that simple. I mean, I think Nate Thurman had a five year stretch with the Warriors where he averaged twenty and twenty, something nuts like that. Hold on, you said Nate Thurman or Nicki Minaj? No, Nate Thurman, not, oh. not Nicki Minaj. No. <laughs> he averaged, Rick, Perry, he averaged, Rick Perry averaged thirty five as a sophomore. He averaged a and won won the uh, the biggest yeah. the biggest upset <laughs> in, in NBA Finals just- history. Hey, hey, Phil, I would love to see Nicki Minaj <laughs> or, or what you call playing for uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, chill. Who, I, 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 who, who I, you talking I, about, Tiki? What's, who's what's in there, Tiki? Ice Spice, nigga. Oh, you want to play basketball? Bob, she can put us in the post every day of the week. <laughs> chill, who you got? I ain't fronting that post. I ain't never fronting that post. Hey, she's hey, like, food. Dude, actually, food. <laughs> I'll never front that post. Boy. It's the championship separates. Look, look, I, I was like, you got to set your foot. Uh, I, I would much rather go, I much rather go with, with Nate Thurman. I mean, he lost in the he lost in the West Finals to Chamberlain, and he did work against Rick Chamberlain. Barry was there too. Rick Barry, the cha- I think the championship is what separates. Him. Mm. All right, uh, Damo, your last. Sleepy Floyd. Hey, Eric on, Sleepy man. Floyd. Sleepy mm. Floyd is Superman. Hey, y'all, 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 hey, disrespectful, y'all disrespectful in the comment section. Y'all say Ice Spice mid. At least she natural. Hey, Damo. Like, I, do, you, do, do you know how nice Eric Sleepy Floyd was? The true warrior. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about. I'm thinking, thinking about a dude today. Think about. Think. Think about. Think, think about uh, I'm trying to think of a guy's game. He wasn't the defender that Mikael Bridges was, but offensively, think about Mikael Bridges, and he could score more. That's kind of what Sleepy Floyd was. 
Yeah, Sleepy was a dog. He was bucked. He wasn't hey, the defender. Take, that was grandfather brother. told me about him. Hey, take it for the record. It is a league like it's a it's a it's a basketball league like that. What you looking for? I see you the lake. It wasn't called. You can do a reaction video to it. And then, Man, that shit is despicable. It's like a lingerie league or something. It's oh, wild. Wild. basketball. Buzzing oh, basketball. Buzzing basketball. Oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Ron, hey, Ron, hey Ron, Ron would be first team everything in that league. <laughs> <laughs> SB, oh, send that to God. me too. Right now, <laughs> what, we, what we need to do, what we need to do is, is, just, is just buy a team. We need to just buy a PC team in that league. Our coach. Oh. Hey, no yeah. bull, man. All right, y'all. We got right. the Los Angeles Clippers next. Uh, oh, the Warriors win Steph Curry, Will Chamberlain, and Rick Barry. Who do That's we got? That's a hell of a trio for the Clippers. Oh, you got the Clippers? Mark. Oh, hey, hey, Ron, I'm glad you ain't got Dookie up here for this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know how this goes. Dookie and Don would have been going in the fourth. I'm sorry. He's going to ask for the wing. He's going to ask for the wing. Stay focused, Joe. I'm good, Joe. So. <laughs> Mars, what's oh up? God. What you got? Los Angeles Clippers. Uh -huh. Chris Poole. Hmm. Now I got to go with my uh, fellow Irishman, fellow Mick, Bob McAdoo. That's there go SB, he back. <laughs> MVP, three-time scoring scoring champ, Bob McAdoo. Wait, wait, wait. Bob McAdoo, Irish? <sighs> He's a Mick. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, sick who you got? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Bob McAdoo, man. I ain't gonna angle front. Mm -hmm. McAdoo. I'm gonna go with Elton Brand. Hey, yo, watch how nasty this <laughs> number one. Is. You know, nobody stay Kawhi the whole time. I really got. He don't I'm deserve a vote. He don't. I'm definitely saying Kawhi to get like. I'm, I'm definitely For what? saying Kawhi. You because just said he, KD didn't he deserve a vote. He gave you rings. Kawhi barely played. He showed. Anyway, he barely showed up for work for the club. And hey, my vote. This is America. Kawhi my made it for vote. Toronto. And this so and that's that's it's my constitutional right being an American to not be harassed. Yeah, the Clippers ain't never won a ring, sir. Hey, so it I, won't be the I, first time somebody vote. voted and got the wrong person in office. So it's cool. That's, that's yeah. So I'm saying, as be like I said, as as an American, I'd appreciate it if I wasn't harassed for my vote. I have the constitutional right. You know what I'm saying? To vote for who I want to vote for. And my first my first vote is believe that. It's a federal offense. Ooh. All right, chill. Who you got? Hey, hey, Paul Potter, SB S, 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 like them proud boys standing Mac outside. You got who, Mac <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking over your list. Hey, nah, man. Who you got, Damo? McAdoo. All right, McAdoo takes it. He's number one. <laughs> Chris Paul. Yeah, yep. Chris Paul. Chris Paul? Chris Paul. Little, little Chris Paul. <laughs> Itty bitty Chris Paul takes two. Itty, who you itty bitty Paul. Who you got, Ticket? I uh, Blake Griff. <laughs> <laughs> CP3. Elton Brand. Griffin. Chris Paul. <laughs> CP3. Chris Paul takes it. Oh, how many years did CP3 play? Hold on. How many years did CP3 play with Glip? It was like five, four? Huh? Six. Six, six, right? Yeah, six, six, I think. But he six. he missed a lot of games too. So hey, like good his... enough for me. Six. Six. <laughs> good enough for me. Mars, who do you have? Number three for the Clippers. We got Bob McAdoo at number one. Chris Paul at two. Who's three? Blake Griffin. Yeah, I'll go Blake. That's another fellow Irishman right there. So you got all that orange and <laughs> shit. <laughs> Blake. <laughs> it's because he's a ginger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all did Blake Griffin dirty, man. He he averaged twenty. Dude, we're getting third all time. I'm saying I think he averaged third twenty and ten, almost ten years with the Clippers. If I'm not mistaken, Chill Town. I think he was on like that. That like sounds 19, like, 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 like 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 nineteen or like nineteen and eight, something like that. Nineteen and nine, something like that. He left in twenty eighteen, so I know he weren't there for ten years. 
Yeah. yeah. Right. So he put so he got so his, and he didn't play his first year. He didn't play his first year, which was the 08 09 season. Mm-hmm. So from yeah. 9 10 to 18, 9 10, 10 11, 11 12, 12 13, 13 14, 14 15, 15 16, 16 17, 17 18. So 19 to 19. I'm sorry, nine years he played there. Nine years. His first year would have been 10 11 because he got drafted in 09. Mm-hmm. So 09. Yeah, but he was 20, he was 20 and 10 every year. And then when he went to Detroit, what he did I say, Mo? Did I give him an extra? Did I give him an extra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my fault. So I think it was, it was eight, eight years. Yeah, eight, eight years. Oh, okay, that's mm-hmm. cool. Cool. Wait, who voting? Take uh, it. Stone Pirate. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think it's my bad. No, it said Blake. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's on SB. SB. No, was, that's, hey, that's crazy. I know I'm going to say collapse. Like Oliver Cannon just to grab a Blake Griffin. You said Blake Griffin, SB? Yeah. All right, Ox? Kawhi Leonard. There you, go. Uh, right there. there you go. The reason why Chicken nobody said that is because what is he synonymous with the Clippers for? Breaking down. I mean, as good as a player no, but, as he is, but, but nobody no, really, no, no, nobody but, really look at him like a Clipper. He, he really still playing. Like I mean, this is fifth. This is fifth year with the strippers. We going. We going. Yeah, year, we going into year five. Yeah, we going into year five. You right. Yeah, we go. We going into year five. As much as I want to say Loy Vault, because I was a big Loy Vault fan, but. I was actually going to say him, but I didn't think like yeah. anyone else would consider him. Yeah, I was, I was going to. He played. He played. With, he played with my man Terry with the Clippers for five years, and he had a money mid range game. Went to Michigan. I remember Lloyd Ball. He was awesome. But I think he's like the second or third all time leading rebounder in Clipper history. I think he's mm-hmm. in the top five all time in scoring, something like that, with the Clippers. He played. I think he played. Let's see. I think he played eight years with them. Something like that. Yeah, that, age, but that was that was that was. I think that was what we what we did. Well, what go ahead, that? y'all. Go ahead. Chill, was that your vault, that's... too? Oh, it's it's Griffin. As much as I want to say vault, it, it's Griffin. Me finished yeah. third in the league in MVP votes in thirteen. Um, made the All NBA team a number of different times. Made the All Star team. Don't get me wrong, Chris Paul helped out a lot, but yeah. definitely. Uh, who Rick Griffin? Griffin who? Black. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, my my vote over the key. Oh, my vote's for Taylor Griffin. No, no, for Elton Brand. Man, I thought I thought His we could have show Elton Brand some love too, but that's all right. I mean, I, I think y'all I think he'd make top five. Yeah, I, I think he'd make top five. five. Like, yeah, you know? that's that's the team I was waiting on. This is the main reason why I want to be a chill. A chill. I'm not letting uh, you do it. He getting oh, the number man. one spot. I'm Could be. All right, he's getting y'all. the number one spot, Chill. Yeah. No matter what she said, he's we getting the number one the spot. Lakers, y'all. <laughs> yeah, Pirate. the long. It's on me. No, it's on Pirate. No, the, it's on Pirate. The, uh, I, I think the longevity is the tipping scale for Kobe. All right. Oh, I'm going. I'm going with Dude Love, baby. I'm going with Kobe. The Black Mamba. Yeah, He's already won. Good work, guys. Yes, go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Either, either, either way, I got to be true to myself and vote Magic Johnson. Yeah, all right, buddy. Okay. He ain't going to happen like that, big Ox. Hey, look, hey, look, y'all. I hey, mean, news I alert. Think there is a case. Kobe, news alert. Chill will not vote for Kobe. The Kobe hate continues. Go ahead, Chill. Oh. He finna vote. See, now he, Drama. he was gonna vote for Kobe. He was gonna do it. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Was no, he wasn't. Oh, wow. That's the wrong vote. SB is Magic. No, it was not. Yeah, I mean, Magic said out his mouth, Kobe was the best. The best Lakers. Man, nigga, say something. He, man, man. Bro, every he, day. he put twenty years of work for this team, bro. Twenty. Right. Years. Hey, hey, man, Magic, had, had, Magic had a thing. Magic had a thing. Good. Y'all Magic, Kobe got Kobe, Magic Kobe came into a league with the best player. Yeah, Magic had a roadblock. Kobe has already won. <laughs> it, don't, it, don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. Kobe's Kobe already won. Lonzo Ball is my vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number two, who we got? Kobe Bryant Magic, is first. Magic Johnson. There you go. All right. Hey, hold on. That man said Lonzo Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm going to tell you what LeVar you Ball used to say. That's symbolic. LeVar Ball. <laughs> Big ball brain. Do what you want to do, Donald. Magic thought he was going to be number two. So, um, Magic, yeah, Magic, Magic. Take it. Oh, well, you know you got to go over Magic Johnson. I mean, ain't no question. Magic man. He <clears throat> he. <laughs> um, I'm gonna vote for the the best Laker to ever touch the hardwood. Magic Johnson. 
Oh boy, I thought you feel safe. Chill. Chill. <laughs> Man. Man. Big Ox, I thought you were finna get nasty, bro. Shannon Brown. Whoa. All right. I should have for Darvin I thought you was going to say LeBron. I was like, whoa, you wild, Ox. All right, so we got Kobe, and then we got Magic for the Lakers. Who's number three? Mars, it starts with you. Kareem. Hmm. Yeah, cases can be made, but um, Kareem. Take it, number three. For the Lakers? Yep. Yep. Um, Kareem, of course. <clears throat> um, SB, give me Shaq. Since Ox. we're talking about the Lakers, we will go with the GOAT, greatest of all time, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Well said, well said. Uh, chill, Jabbar. Can't hear you, Damo. Yo, Mike, can't hear you, Damo. I don't even think your mic muted. It's your, your cup. Your mic right unplugged. Now. He said Ty Lue. He, he, he said Ty Lue. No, no, the hell I didn't say no goddamn Ty Lue. Sasha. Sasha Vujicic. Mm. No you Vladimir Rodmanovic, Damo? No, I, I can't go, I can't go Vladdy over Sasha. Definitely <laughs> wouldn't. You in your, you in your bag with the names. I'm going with guys yeah. I like. I ain't going to lie to you. If I went with the names I don't like, which is what I was going to do, but Tariq would have made that list. Mm. Yo, <laughs> Marcelo Huertas. All right. Uh, for the like Lakers, it went Kobe Bryant, Magic Johnson, Kareem, as it should. Mm. All right. Next, we got the Phoenix Suns. What are we doing with the Suns, Mars? I'm taking Steve Nash. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Steve Nash. All right. Pirate. I want to say it. Say it. Don't be scared. Say, say, say it. Is <laughs> say is I mean, there are a lot of underrated players for the for the Suns. They're not number one, though. <laughs> All right, fine. Steve Nash. There you go. <coughs> Man, all this cap, all this cap going on, man. Sir Charles Barkley, man. Sir Charles Barkley, man. Thank you. Keep it real. That's absolute foolishness, y'all. Thank you, Steve Nash. Charles Barkley. Come on, chill. The best player to ever. Oh, Steve Nash. Chill, come on, Steve man. Nash. Ching ching. Let's go. I got Charles Barkley in second, maybe. Probably. I would say Barkley. He only played there four years. Yeah, that, that's the issue. The long he wasn't there. That's it. Yeah, that's he only. Hold on, time out, time out. But in those four years, he did more than Steve Nash. He went to the NBA Finals. No, he didn't. He yeah, went to the NBA Finals one time. Right. One time. He did. Wait, hold on. He I went mean, to the NBA Finals. He did more than Steve the Nash. Team, he went to the, the team went. The he won team. an MVP. Hold on. He won an MVP and he went to the yeah. finals. To me, that's better than winning two MVPs. He also, he also, and Brian, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up since you're bringing up the since you bringing up the, the playoffs. He also was on a crew that dropped three two three one leads. They was up on the Rockets in '94. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Good, good the next good year good in '95, now. they was up three one against the Rockets and got bounced. Mm -hmm. Black, Black, I don't give a damn. I don't Black. give a damn. He, he did some Steve Nash didn't do, and Steve Nash winning all those MVPs. He went to the NBA Finals and lost to Michael Jordan. I mean, they mm -hmm. ain't no shit about that sucker. Yeah. Yeah, Steve Nash did win two league MVPs and got to the Western Conference Championship, I think, three times, I think. He got five, the... oh, 26 in the Conference Finals, and 06, I think they were in the Conference mm -hmm. Finals as yeah, well. He was in the West Finals three times. And... Oh, oh, 07 was the second round, they lost to the Spurs. Oh, 08, I believe, was the second round as well. Mm -hmm. oh, 09, I think they missed the playoffs, and then 2010 was and the you and me are, And you and, you and I had this conversation, Mars, that if – that, that that Stoudemire doesn't get off the bench and they don't get. I think that they. I think they beat the Spurs in 07. I think they headed to the NBA Finals. And if Stoudemire can play in the playoffs in 06, maybe they make the finals that year as well because yes. they went to the finals without Stoudemire. But yes, they did. if yeah. buts and maybe's, who, who cares? Right. Steve Nash had a lot of help, and Barkley had a lot of help. I mean, that's a team success, man. Team team yeah. success. I, you know. All right, y'all. We uh we keeping it pushing though. Pirates, you went with Barkley too. No. For number Steve one? My, my, no, my number ball no, wasn't even Steve Nash. Nash. Yeah, for, for number, number two. two. Number yeah. two. Who you got number two, Dan Marsh? Marsh said Barkley. I'll, I'll, I'll probably still go with Barkley, but like, I hadn't yeah. actually definitively made my pick. But that's fine. Barkley? Mm -hmm. All right, Pirate? I mean, there are a couple of players who played there a lot longer than Barkley that I kind of want to go with. 
Like um, and go go with them. You got the right yeah. to vote. Yes, yeah, I do. I do. And I love Barkley too. So it's not that, but just four years. I, I think uh I mean, I really think Kevin Johnson was super underrated, even at, even at the point. He's one of the few players who has, like, he has more uh, all-NBA than all-stars. This kind of shows that he was underappreciated at the time. He played there, like, 11 years, five all-NBA, I think. Mm. He was really good. He was one of my favorite players. And he, 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 he played there a long time. And he went there with Barkley. So, I mean, any team success we give to – Barkley was the best player, but that was a good, a really good team, top to bottom. Longevity, I'll say Kevin Johnson. Hmm. Kevin Love Johnson that, it man. is. Ticket, who you got? Who are we talking about, the second one? Yeah. Yes. Charles Barkley. Not on Rob Charles Barkley, the first one. Yeah, Barkley for me too. Ox. Easy Charles Barkley, still Charles Barkley. Chuck Wagon. All right. Tom Chambers. I got KJ number three. No, Dama, no Dan Marley. <laughs> nah. All right, Tyra, who you got number three? I already said KJ. I think he'll go. One name I think super underappreciated, Walter Davis, man. No, nobody ever mm-hmm. talks about Walter Walter Davis. Uh, like a great player for a really long time. One of, if not the best team that went to two Western uh, Conference finals, almost made the finals. Hey, uh, y'all, well, this is how y'all get on the big stage. When you ain't got used no notes like my boy Pirate over here, and he just got this stuff in his brain. That's how you get on the big stage, man. Good job, Pirate. Salute, so, Thank you. you. Thank you, Ticket. I appreciate it. Well, Walter Davis. Walter, Walter Davis. Davis. All right. Yeah. Oh, you're taking him. I think I think Kevin Johnson's probably going to get it anyway. But oh. I, I do want I do want to shout out Walter Davis and and, and yeah, because I think it's really close. Two Western mm-hmm. Conference Finals and like probably does, the does, best. Was Was Walter Davis better than Westfall? I think they were at that time. Like really six and one, half a dozen in the other. Uh, so, you can, so you can go either way with either Westfall or Walter Davis. The yeah, I think way. there's a case to be made. I, I I think they were they were roughly in the in the same ballpark. Right. Yeah. Boy, well, Davis uh, was that long. Ago. Rookie of the year. I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. great player. Take it. Super efficient. As the third one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Steve Nash and Barkley are off the table. No, I got Mark Stoudemire. Hmm. Like that. That's what. Who you got, SB? Um, give me KJ. I was going to throw, mm. but it, it seemed like the vote might. The yeah, vote this might matter. This is serious, right now, SB. This is serious. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 one one right now. Yeah, yeah I, I, I want um, to throw so bad, but I can't even see like the vote need to count this time. Man, I do love that. I do love that Amari pick uh, ticket, especially since especially I'm since uh, especially since Steve Nash wouldn't be shit without Amari Stoudemire. Um, I'm a <laughs> and go Sean with Marion. That. I'm going to go with the second best point guard to play for the Suns. Off and number Jason one, King. number yeah, number one being Jason, Jason Kidd. Yeah, I figured, yeah. <laughs> number two being <laughs> number two being that Sacramento High School alumni, the legend himself. The mayor the dragon, of Sacramento. The mayor the dragon, himself. The mayor, Kevin Johnson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Sorry, that, 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 that's that's, 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 mm-hmm. that's Sac High Dragon. So if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Barkley. I think <laughs> yeah, I, 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 <laughs> with, the with, the, with the exception of Charles Barkley and Steve Nash, the exception of Charles Barkley and Steve Nash, Mari Stoudemire is the only Phoenix Sun to be first team All Pro. Stoudemire is my guy. Um, I'm going Devin Booker. That's a, that's a good pick. That's a good so pick. what was the school? Devin Booker, that's, Devin yeah, Booker was super Devin split, Booker, isn't it? Devin, Devin Booker's nah, an All Pro. Devin Booker was, a, was an All Pro. Now, oh, Devin, Devin, Devin Booker was De- Devin Booker was first. No, he he pro. took Amari Sotomayor. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. wait Devin Booker, three, I'll take that back. Devin Booker was first team All. No, Devin Booker was first team All. Well, me in SB took Kevin Johnson. Pirate took Walter Davis. Ticket took Stat. So did Chill, and you took KJ. I think it's three. Yeah, Devin Booker was All Pro. First team All Pro too. All right. Uh, speaking of Kevin Johnson and the Sacramento Kings are next. Speaking of which, but for the uh, for the Phoenix Suns and with Steve Nash, Charles Barkley, Kevin Johnson, now we got the Kings. 
Uh, Mars, that's on you. Oscar Robertson. The big O. Yeah, uh, absolutely. No doubt. Oscar Robertson big by o. far. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yo, you act, you act, you act like we ain't never had nobody in our franchise, pirate. There go. Yeah, Me, yeah, Roddy, I don't. Roddy, Roddy you come second. Uh, Tigger, I, res- I, I respect Cincinnati, bro. I respect Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, bro. Big O, big O, big O. All right, SB. Big O. Big O. Oh, even though I want to say Pedro Stajakovic. Oscar Robinson, yes. 100%. Jason Williams. <laughs> that white chocolate. Um, Mars, you got number two. Oscar Robertson's off the table. Um, uh, see, I don't know who my number two is, so I might. It is the to, Kings. I might. Have to, I might, I might just have to, um. I might have to just throw my pick away because I don't know. So, um, <laughs> Otis Birdsaw. <laughs> mm. hey, stop being a jackass and picking number four. You know who it is. I don't know who it is. I don't know. 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 I the guy I'm consider now it's the king, so we have to make concessions with <laughs> with the qualifications. Yeah. And so that considered uh just well, a I mean, player. Yeah, there's also a tiny Archibald as well. I mean there, there's options. Yeah. I just don't know. Um yeah, but uh for number two, I'm gonna go with Mitch Richmond. Longevity. I think he played six or seven years. Mm-hmm. He was really good all seven years, six or he, seven he years. Better. I forget. He was, he was better than that. He was better than really also, good. No, he, he was, was he, yeah, he was better than really good. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I agree. He he was yeah. 26 he, games. He, he was really 20, good. 20, he, he was great. Games, he was perennial all-star. 26 seven straight years. 26 yeah. games for seven straight years and, and an all-pro every year. And and efficient and a really good mm-hmm. shooter. He wasn't he wasn't just chucking it up to get those points. Mm-hmm. I mean, he he was yeah. efficient. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. so so the second pick. The team sucks. Interesting. Nice. Mm-hmm. What's that? The second pick wasn't just a foregone conclusion. Clearly. No, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you got no, I don't think so. Because I got my number three, you know, kind of close. But I agree with Mick Foley. I'm going. I'm going with Mitch Richmond. He was a bucket, so I ain't gonna. That's lie. what I was going with. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going for the guy who got tired to bring up this pain for you, big ass. Who got cheated? Possibly who led the team of that team in the Western Conference? But <laughs> see where, bro. Can you see? One, there wasn't. There wasn't no possible to it. <laughs> well, no possible about it. SP. Sorry, sorry it's, to bring up that pain to you, my boy. It's documented, SP. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I, I got, yeah, I got, I got Chris Webber as well. Richmond. Symbol mm. mm. sure mm. R. Hey, we've been getting real nasty to some on some of these things we've been talking about. I know that, right? Now, ticket. What I want you to remember, though, ticket. I, I, I want you to remember that we're talking about not the better player, but the best player for that franchise. No, I'm with That's you. No, I'm with you. No, no, I totally agree. I totally agree with you. I, 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 I'm with Mitch Richmond. I agree. If, if I pick the better player, I'd pick C Webb. I just picking the better player with that franchise. Yeah, yeah. Respect. They I'm, just talking me, about right? Bob, I'm, I'm just talking about Bob picking Nick Collison and yeah, you too. Yeah, That's what I'm talking about when I say nasty. Now, you, you got to remember that was a good, Nick Collison, Collison, that was a good pick. That was a good I pick. Got, I think he got the most games in the history of that organization, something like that. Yeah, he I does. Think he, yeah. I, think he, I think he in the top – I think he in the top five, something like that, all-time in rebound. Don't, 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 don't you ever get mad at me when I say that about Big Zadrunas and was a big – I don't pass. have a problem with that. I, I don't have – I, I think, think Zadrunas the all-time leading rebound in Cavs history. It just Jersey was tied with the class. Yeah, he's an all-time leading rebounder. He's an all-time mm-hmm. leading rebounder in Cavs. Not a lot of great rebounders in Cavs history. Hey, Nate, hey Thur- just so you know, <laughs> Nate Thurman played for the Cavs. Just so you know. Just so you know how right yeah, I am. No. You, oh, oh, hey, for all you guys, just so y'all know how right I am about stuff. Y'all heard what Iggy said, what I told y'all on here about Jordan Poole, baby. It's gonna be a pool party, baby. And when the Maggie's no is no out, no one died that he'd average that many points. It's just yeah, gonna be it, but that's all. It ain't gonna be. That's the only way. When we did talk about it, though, Ticket, we all we all agreed that he'll probably fill up the stat sheet, but they won't win more than 27. What was it, 28 games? Something I think like it was that. 28. Sounds about right. Yeah, I think we decided on 28 games. 
All right, cool. No we problem. we we yeah. agreed we agreed with you before before Iggy said it. We didn't need Iggy to say it for us to agree with you, bro. We agreed with you since that they're yeah. not gonna win much games. Hey, just know the pat the baddies gonna be the core side, man. Chocolate City, baby. <laughs> they all gonna be there, yo. <laughs> That's a I fact. So. Points for no that. They are absolutely yeah. gonna be there. In, in in DC, yes, sir. All right, y'all. Number three, who we got. We went Oscar Wayne. Robertson, Mitch, Rich, Mitch Richmond. Who's number three? Wayne Ember. Shout out the Brick House. Um, not a lot of longevity. Excuse me. Really good peak when he was there. Tiny Archibald. Mm-hmm. Don't get- cry, dry your eye, Chris Webber. Mm-hmm. C-Web, C-Web, C-Web got to make it. Pedro Stojakovic. Oh, I you sell her. See, Chris Webber. Oh, there you go, OG. He'd already won. Right. It was 2 one, one, one. Oh, okay, okay. Right. We didn't know what OG was going to pick, though, because he could have won. Yeah, yeah he wasn't going to pick Wayne Ember. He might have picked Tiny, but he wasn't going to pick Wayne <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's I wasn't right. gonna pick Tiny neither. The only I think he only played he was two only or three years with Kansas City. I think I think it was four. And then I'm not sure. Like and then a little sure. bit of time, the little bit of like time I said. He, he didn't do what Bill Walton did. He did not. And a little bit of time that he was there. He mm. did not. That's why Bill Walton. No, yeah, just I'm not putting him number one. Yeah, Bill Walton yeah, did yeah. something different. Bill Walton was dominant. Yeah. yeah Bill Walton did something completely different. But I mean Tiny was really good in his time there. Man, right, OG the type of dude, Buddy Hill, man. Go ahead, yo. <laughs> For the Sacramento Kings, we went Oscar Robinson, Robertson, Mitch Richmond, mm-hmm. Chris Webber. Ron, who had the biggest teeth in Sacramento history? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good question. <laughs> well, the answer is obvious. I mean, Vladdy. I know this. I know this. Probably chick that had went to big Thomas teeth. High School. I'm talking about she went to, she went to New Thomas High School, got teeth like a mule. <laughs> Shout out to her. All right, y'all. We got the Dallas Mavericks next. Who is number one? Dirk Nowitzki. Mm-hmm. Dirk. Yeah. Auto. 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 Yeah, we can auto pick Dirk. You might just write him in. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Not so fast. <laughs> oh. I thought you <laughs> liked Dirk. I love Dirk. I love Dirk. <laughs> it's definitely Dirk for sure. Yeah, I'm going Dirk with those guys. I think he got a street name after him in Dallas, and he got a statue right now. So, yeah, he, he is Dallas at this point. All right. Yeah, I'm Dirk. I'm Dirk. Phil? Oh, it's Dirk Nowitzki. Yes, sir. All right. Dirk takes the cake. Who's number two? Mark Aguirre. Yes, sir. <sighs> I'm not even like a huge Luca fan, but I am oh, kind of torn. Hell no, probably. I mean, I'm kind of torn. It has been five years. Now. Yeah, the first year is not really moving me. No, no, no. Mm, it's fair. Neither is the neither is the fifth year. Yeah, the fifth year is moving me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the fifth year is kind of moving. Um, because not yeah. like Mark was just having deep playoff runs. So, yeah. yeah, it's not like Mark Aguirre played with him for like twenty years. Um. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm not a huge Luca fan. I'm I'm gonna give Luca a, a, a slight edge. You know, it feels wrong, but uh, it feels right. So, all right. Pirate chose Luca. Take it. What direction are you Jake going? Kidd. Wow. Jake Kidd. Jake Kidd. SB, you there? He's in deep contemplation. He's frozen. <laughs> he's frozen. He's frozen. <laughs> he's frozen. He's frozen. He's frozen. He's SB, wake up. <laughs> That's, what basketball yeah. reference, that's what basketball reference does to your Wi Fi. <laughs> this is your yeah, brain on right. basketball reference. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just, <laughs> hey, the, the straight, I just called him. I didn't hear the last part. Um, <laughs> Now I'm gonna say something crazy now just because you said that. Uh give me Michael Finley now. 
That's a good pick. That's a great pick, SB. I'm happy you said that because that's where I was going. Hold to. on, Michael Fenton. Yeah, hold on, Michael Fenton over six. this kid. Five, hold on, Michael Finley over Dallas. Give, me, over give me Michael Finley. Thank you. <laughs> over I, I used to rock that. I, I had two Michael Finley jerseys. The white one. Oh, hold on, Bob. Blue. Over I did, I did over really like Michael Finley. Yeah. Hey, the white hold one. Hold on, hold on. Are we being serious? Oh, 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 come on. Over Jay Kidd? I'm serious. Jay Kidd was there for like three years, four years? Yeah. Right. I'm, those I'm, those I'm, three years was better than, than Finley's. Oh, I'm not arguing about my pick. I mean, I you, I, 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 I'm, I'm, take, I'm taking Jason Key with my third pick, but for my second pick, give me Michael Finley. You are. Okay. Man, y'all, man. Man. <laughs> Who you got, Chill? Second pick? Yeah. I, I, wanted, I wanted to pick Mark Aguirre, but Luca did a little bit more. I'm, you know, I'm an all pro guy. And the fact that Luca, four to five years that he played there, yeah. first team all pro for for those five years, MVP ish type. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta Mars, go. Jake, hey, hold on, Mars. Jake can't play yeah, like already, seven second greatest back. Maverick already got. Yeah. Hold on, Jake can't play. Seven I don't years like in it, but hold on, I kind of got to acknowledge. Jake can't play seven years in Dallas, and according to y'all, oh, are you, are you, oh, so you're year. doing both stints combined? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the then second then was helped, like he came back and helped Dirk win a chip. This yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't know you were doing both stints. They are silly. Man. I mean, yeah, so yeah, did yeah. JJ Because Mars, yeah, even before no, and Mars, even if you use those first couple of years, he was a monster those first couple of years coming to league with Dallas, bro. Yeah, he was yeah but ticket team. more than like Mark Aguirre and Luca. Yeah, because he, hold on, because when he went back to the Mavs, he was still making All Star teams. He made the All Star team the year they won a the chip. Did he? I think so. Did he? No way. I don't. Jason I don't think he did. I'm not lying. Look at yeah, up. I don't. I don't. <laughs> did he? I don't oh, think oh, he didn't make the All Star year. They, they won it. He won it. He say. made the All Star year. I, I would have looked at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the year before, ticket. Yeah, yeah. Not, not the year before. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's fair to do both stints. That's what I did with uh, Rick Barry. So. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, fair. I think it's fair. I mean, anything of just, what you do with that, Jason, I mean, it just, it just slipped my now. mind about both stints. Yeah. I'm going to be You were just yeah. thinking of what Jason King was. He's still not number two for me, but it did just slip my mind. Well, I'm Mars, I, I think what made him number two is when he went back on the second stint, made the two all-star teams, and then helped win the chip. I think that's what took him past for me. Mm -hmm. That's about uh, it. That's all right, so we have a two-way tie right now. or with uh, We got a tie right now with Luca and Michael Finley. And it's no way, it's not <laughs> Finley, but it's no way I'm giving this to Michael Finley. So Luca is number two. Now we got to go Second the third best player Maverick. in Dallas Mavericks oh, history. Time, Who do you got, Morris? Mark Aguirre. Luca that made the list. Second all time. All right. uh, I think we know it's going to – I, I want to shout out uh, Rolando Blackman. <laughs> yeah, for real, shout out Blackman. Let, shout out Rolando Blackman. So wait, by y'all logic, right now, that means Luca. That means if Luca Jason retired Jason right, too, so wait, if Luca retired right now, to y'all, he should get a statue outside of Dallas. Then. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, whoa, no, 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 yeah, <laughs> nobody got it. I think Wally Second Zerbiak was, was, right? was Kevin Love. Yeah, he ain't got a statue. Second greatest yeah. Charlotte yeah. Hornet was yeah. wasn't Googs um, Gugliata. He right. his jersey. Well, our statue was a little too far. Jersey retired. Dude. Is that better for y'all? <laughs> Luca might get. I don't even care about jersey retirement. Yeah, man. If, if, if there are a hundred numbers today, retire whoever you want. Probably would get retired. Steve Nash they is know. not getting a statue outside the arena in Phoenix. He's not. And he's the best player. Well, you got ticket. Hey, he, he gonna get one in Dallas though, chill town, because he won that chip. Steve Nash. Steve Nash. Yeah. Chip. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about Jake Kidd. Yeah, Jake Oh, he's back as the coach. He, he might get some more love. No, no, no. I'm talking about as a player for the fact that he went back, won the chip, made a few All Star teams, and look at how he started out his career. But I think Mark Cuban. Jake Kidd, 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 Kidd is not statue worthy in Dallas. No, I think he's talking about his jersey retired. No. I don't think he's talking about a statue. Yeah, yeah, well, that, well, that, hold on. That, and I think that J. Kidd, I, I think that if he gets a statue with any team, he will get one with them. I, I, I think that Mark, because Mark Cuban, I think that he's going to do that. 
Mm. I think I there's only a couple, a couple of a couple of statues in Mark all Cuban, of Dallas. Right? There, there's all a, of there's Dallas alone. Like, not, there's not many, just basketball. Yeah, there's not many. Not just not just basketball. Players, I'm, ta- I'm talking about all of Dallas alone. All there is is Dirk and Nolan Ryan. Hold on, y'all missing what I'm saying to y'all. All I'm saying to y'all is this: when y'all look at him, you got to look all across the board at this guy, man. I'm talking about from when he came over there, he was putting up like 16 and what? Uh, lead, like one of the leaders in the league, eight, sixteen and eight, nine, eight, like that. yeah, eight, eight nine. Eight, eight, eight. So he was, he had double figures in both years. He was first two years. Then he came back later, made all star teams, and helped them win the chip. The only, the only chip they got. That's if, the separator. Now, that, now, that, if, that, if, that's if he wins, separator yeah. is when he came yeah. back, not when he was just there for three years. When he yeah, came back, if he wins, that's still not a statue. If he no, I don't think it's statue worthy. No, but as an all time great Dallas Maverick, no, no question about that. An all time great Dallas Maverick, absolutely. That's the separate. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree yeah. that he's a great. I agree that I, I agree with that. I, I love Jack Kidd, but unless he wins a couple as a coach, ain't no statue going up. For that. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. All right, ticket. Who you got? Number three for the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, I, I gotta yep. put. Um, I, I gotta go with the Wonder Boy. Oh, y'all already picked him second. Yeah, hey, y'all gave him a whole. Y'all gave Jack Kidd no. You That's what I just. I said. The, I said he a number two go, go Maverick. Jay Kidd, go, yeah, yeah, Good job. Good job. I got you, Mark. Yeah, go with Jay Kidd. Y'all gave that boy all that already. Y'all get it to lose. Hey, that's crazy to me, too. Number two all time already. Some teams have longer I'm, lists I'm, I'm, of I'm players than say, other teams. I'm just about to say that. Pirates. No, no, I, I, I don't know. Why talking like the Dallas Mavericks or the Lakers? Like they're the Celtics. Yeah. Like yeah. they got eight or nine jerseys hanging up in the arena. No, they don't. No, I yeah. understand that. I'm just. And I do think, like, like uh, Mark Aguirre, and it'd be, I think it's close, you know, it's splitting, yeah, it's splitting right. hairs here or there, but he, he's done a lot in his short stint. Yeah, yeah, he's not. SB, um, who you got? Um, I'm gonna go, kid. Ox. Michael Finley. I told you Mark Aguirre wouldn't win. Wait, oh, you, went, you went Aguirre, didn't you, Mars? I'm the only one so no. far. No, I did too. Uh, uh, you said Rolando I wanna... No, I said Rolando shout Rolando. out. No, I no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Reel back the tape. I was just I saying, you. hey, we haven't said anything about about Rolando Black. I thought Rolando you picked Blackman, Blackman too. I I, I did. No, so no, you no. Go, so you going so you, so said, now you are picking Mark Aguirre. Reel back the tape. I said, I'm, I'm I said Aguirre. Okay, okay well, well, somebody do it. I said shout out Blackman, shout out Jared Harper, but I'm going Aguirre. This, this is Mars. This is Mars and Pirate Beef Day. You got to put this up right here. This is classic. <laughs> I love Mars. Mars is so adorable. I never, I never thought I'd see this back there right here. <laughs> you call that, call that man adorable. Adorable. <laughs> you, chat, do you guys agree that Mars is adorable? Matter of fact, chat, uh, ex- describe Mars in one word. Uh, but go ahead, uh, Chill. Who you got? Troll. Mark Aguirre. Mark Aguirre. Sardonic. <laughs> Troll. Troll Mars. Remember you said the little troll dolls with the fro like Mars? Yeah. The fur, the little <laughs> Furby the little Furby toys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You blow on their hair for good luck. Say Mars never seen one before. We got I gotta get a picture of Mars so you can see it. And somebody, wow, they called you a scumbag in the chat. Yo, damn. <laughs> <laughs> chat can be cruel. Chat can be cruel. <laughs> Oh man! Hey, the only thing Mars did wrong was go to the America and say this food is nasty. That was crazy. The food they provided was not good. They <laughs> sold him ticket. They ticket. They sold him, bro. If y'all ever bro, know, they were hyping up burritos, y'all ever do PC you didn't like the burritos, hey, hey, man. Bro, y'all, hey, hey, bro, where did you take this like guy where he didn't have a good burrito or taco? I don't get it. They sold him, bro. Hey, Ron, how many? How many more we got? Because I know we started late, but I still, you know, we got four more teams. We got the Houston Rockets next. Ticket, did you? I mean, I take it chill. Did you at least eat good while you was out there? I did, yes, sir. He had a, he had his little vegan se- selection, so he got different food to everyone. So I don't know, maybe yeah. he had good food. If y'all ever do PC week, uh, PC weekend in Chicago, I got you. I'm gonna take y'all to all the good places, bro. We we, we won't I'm get short. I'm good. Yeah, bro. What do y'all think? <laughs> Chicago is not that, bro. Y'all don't. Y'all gotta chill. With yes, that, it is. Man. Chicago, wild as hell. Let's cut the nonsense. We yes, we not is. even we not even top ten dangerous cities at all. Y'all know yeah, that. Congratulations. Oakland, 12. Players' wow. choice bulletproof vest if we come out there. So I'm, Oakland I'm in the house. You know, I'm anyway, 
I'm gonna have the who's, the best, who's the best player in Rocket history right now? Who's the best player the Rockets ever had? Who we got? Bro? I mean, easy. I mean, I think we're gonna. The only thing we need to do the first one. We could just skip the number yeah. two, right? Yeah, uh, unanimous Akeem. All right, cool. Akeem. Yeah, everybody, everybody, raise your hand for Akeem. Okay, cool. Akeem. We got that one. Glad you won. All right, Hakeem. Uh, number two, Mar. Who you got? Damn, it's gonna be kind of hard. It's between Moses and James Harden, but I'm man, if you say James Harden, Harden man. I'm, I'm going leaving. with James Harden. I'm going with James Harden. I got, I got to load up this U-Haul, bro. So. You guys can all pick Moses Malone, and I'll be the only one picking James Harden. You all pick up. Pirate. No, I'm, re- I'm I'm reluctantly. I, I, I can do a couple. Come more. on, let's go. Let's get through this, Pirate. Who you got? Re- 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 reluctantly, right now, James Harden. Right. Reluctantly. Take it. No, I'm going Moses. Uh, that's too, much. Oh, too bad, James Harden. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a tie. Ron's gonna right. pick Moses Malone. Right, this is despicable, one. Moses. Four, 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 baby. Yeah, that, that was in Philly. It doesn't count. Yeah, was Philly. Well, you go with Moses. I'm going yeah, with Ron. Moses. You're picking Moses. That's fine. That's cool. I hate it. I'm yeah. picking James. <laughs> <laughs> James Harden, let's he's go. Ty- he's typing Moses Malone as we Ron, speak. That's he's, he's, t- he's typing, yeah. Yeah, he typed him. Moses. Do it, Ron. Hey, really, James celebrating, James. Hey, really celebrating James Harden over here, man. That, that's what I'm you know. not. James I'm Harden. definitely not celebrating him. I don't. I'm not a fan. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go, Ron. Ron. Let's go, Ron. Let's go. He's going to change it. Ron, you so. No, he ain't. He ain't. All right, number three, Jaden Green. Step back, man. I'm Jaylen telling Green. you, that step back is uh, it's just too man. memorable. I got Jaden Green. Bro, the man Moses. should be the greatest when he quit on the team like he did, bro. That disqualified he him. put in a lot of work for that team. Uh, on in, Moses, on in, off Moses, the court. Moses, Moses he was making team. it rain on the court and off the court. But Moses go ahead, Mars. Who's number three? Yeah, his jersey Jaylen retired Green. in the strip club. In his, he did everything. <laughs> hey, yo, that's legendary. Legendary. Mars said Jalen Green. Who you guys? He got his jersey retired in the strip Moses. club for real? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's hanging in the strip club. Right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if it's still hanging up for this day. No, it's, it's, up it's, it's up there. It's up there. It's still there. Oh, yeah. He's he gonna, he gonna, he gonna have a jersey hang up in China after this is this season right here. <laughs> All right, we got China. Moses. Uh, one for Moses. I'm not gonna speak another name that was said. Uh, Jalen Green was the other name. Jalen oh, Green. Moses nah, nah, nah. Moses or Ralph Sampson. Go ahead, man. It's, All it's, right. it's on you, ticket. Yeah, I'm nah, going Moses. You just said Moses. SB. Oh, I said Moses or Ralph Sampson. SB said Jalen Green. I did not say no Jalen Green. Oh. Was James Harden Shout the, out best, Mad the Max. second best? Shout out yeah, Mad James Max. Was the second best. James, James Harden was the second best. best. All right. I, give me I don't even have James. I'll be honest with you. I don't even have James Harden in front of Steve Francis. And I don't got him in front of Steve Francis. That's a fact. That's okay, a fact. So, so you, you, guys could ch- you, could, you could check my list, Pirate. You got, you, got, you got the franchise. Oh, wait, so we just gonna erase all the work he put in for Houston because he asked for a trade out? Yo, 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 we we got to keep it pushing though. Yeah, that, that's rolling. That's rolling. That's good. Boy, oh, it's, on, it's on me. Oh yeah, it's Moses. Yeah. Moses for sure. Moses. All right, chill. Yeah, I was SB. My Moses. Brother. All right, I, I pick Moses. Shout out to Jalen Green for getting the book. Shout yeah. out Yao Ming. And, <laughs> you know, shout, out, shout out Yao Ming. Shout out Max Sauce. Hey, Ron. Right, yo. What's up? Super thick or just cute in the face? Right, she can stand on face. We all right. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. She's super cute in the some face. The, that's all right. Some hey, some of the biggest I problems that I've ever had in my life. I like, them, I like them skinny. I like them thick. If, if you're cute in the face, you get a pass from me. Some of the biggest problems, some of the biggest problems that I've had in my life have been with some of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. I'm out on the beautiful girls. I'm straight. Hey, hey skinny no. as a rifle. <laughs> Hey, I was one just last it's, night. It's, uh, uh, Mar, it's just on you for what team? The Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Or the Gasol. Vancouver Grizzlies. Pau Gasol. Gasol. Whoa. 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 Hey, Ox, Whoa. do not. You could get nasty, Ox, but don't get that. Damn, he got type 10 already? Damn. <laughs> I'm not getting nasty with Pau Gasol ain't number uh, one, though, Chitan. We are, we not are, we get that. I already know where you're going with that. No. It's not. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, it was Pal from Mars. Who you got, Pirate? Come on, Pirate. Do the right thing. Yeah, uh, Ice Spike Lee, do the right thing, man. Pal gets off. Take it. 
I don't think there's a lot separating. Jack Randolph. Zebo. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ticket. Do the right thing. Zebo. <laughs> Me. Okay. Damn, SB, you gonna drop it? Who Ticket say? He says Jack Randolph. Zebo. Says Zebo. All right, cool, cool. Who you got, uh, Bob? All right, where I'm from, bullies get bullied. I mean, I think he'd win a bite. Right. Yeah. Zebra, Zebra's a cool and trailblazer, man. I don't know. I, don't know about, well. I think he played yeah. something like seven uh, or eight years in Memphis, though. Yeah, and half of them are like when he was near the end. Like, oh. nah, that man. was the end, right? He wasn't like yeah. in so, Memphis for very long. Who you got, SB? Uh, for the Grizzlies all time? Yeah. 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 Give me Zebo. Mm. Really? Right. And oh. Chill, you said, uh, pal? That's all, yes. 3-3. Three, three. 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 Zebo is not Zebo. Oh, I'm about to time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zebo not... is the Grizzly. Stop it, bro. Everything his is Zebo is in the Grizzly. Grizzly. Definitely his best was in Portland. <laughs> the embodiment of the Grizzly oh, is Zebo. He was better in Portland. Yeah. Yeah. So, Harry, 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 he could have been, been better in Portland. He was probably better in Portland, but he was still better than Paul Gasol in Memphis. No, I he, think Zebo jumped a like, combined. Don't matter. Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol won. Paul Gasol won. Let's go to number he two. jumped a combined no, 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 twenty five inches two, his career. Two, and number two, give me Paul Gasol's brother. I like yeah, me too. Style. Yeah, both, both Mark. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. Mark. All right, yeah. well, you got ticket. Who did y'all pick for number one? They picked Paul Gasol. All right, well, give me Zebo. Give me Zebo. 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 I need to see what he was putting up. I'm sorry because this yeah. is yeah. And I'm not even a boss reference. I, 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 he was hold there. Hold he hold was hold a hold character. Zebo. Rewind, rewind, rewind. I'm sorry, Mike Conley. Yeah, I would definitely. I would this have. Is not uh, moving me. Mike Conley. That's what I'm going with. Not Zebo. Right. Right. Y'all do. Zebo. Zebo averaged like 20 and 10 for two seasons. That was it. Something crazy like that. Yes, like, it was two it, seasons. It, I, I, yeah. I, I knew it, I wasn't bugging out when I yeah, knew it wasn't like he was at, like he was I twenty. Knew, he, yeah, he put me like eight, like, like was Zebo, eight years there. Zebo, Zebo won number two. Who's number and, three? And and, and and y'all dudes look at Zebo because he was a bully. Zebo won number two. He's yeah, the Zebo embodiment of what the Memphis Grizzlies were. Yeah, so. that, that's not great. Yeah. Grand, ain't no so he's a great yeah. mascot, but I mean, now nah, he a mascot. The, the disrespect to Zebo, that's okay. crazy. So I'm, it's I'm not sure. Sure. I mean, I'm, Zebo, just, I'm just saying he wasn't great in Memphis for a very so I'm, long I'm time. pretty sure Marcus is gonna get the third one. Yeah, Marcus is my number third. Yeah, Marcus, Tony Allen. Mm. Ticket, ticket, who you got? I told you Zebo. Didn't Zebo take him to the Western Conference Finals? Zebo, Zebo, yeah, Zebo, got, Zebo, number Zebo got number two. Zebo got number uh, Marcus, two. Okay, okay. Well, at number three, give me uh, give me Marcus Hall, number three. All right. Hey, Pirate, you went with Mark too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. SB? I said Tony Allen because I know Marcus Hall from the way. All right. Ox? I mean, all actuality, Ron, should have went Zebo, Mark, and Powell. So. <laughs> that, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take Mark. I'm going to take Mark Gasol because he should have been number two. In front, in front of his brother. But. He should have been number two. I agree. That's not crazy to say. Mike Conley. I do agree. Mike Conley yeah, would have been my number three. Yeah, yeah. Conley, Conley would have been in my third. The yeah. Grizzlies went Pal Gasol, Zach Randolph, Mark Gasol. That's what we have for the that's, Grizzlies. That's actually a dope like, lineup. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if <laughs> you love Zebo. Like, I understand why. I'm saying, if, you, if you got Paul, Zach, and Mark, like, if that's your depth chart, like, if that's your uh, if that's your front court or whatever, like, that's cold. Mm-hmm. I see why Zebo's a Bob Bob type player, but. but. And, then he, and then he came to sack <laughs> for a quick minute. That was beautiful. <laughs> you loved it. Yeah. All right, y'all. We got the Pelicans, New Orleans Pelicans. So anything New Orleans count. Chris so Poole, Orleans, Chris Poole. New Orleans Hornets Poole. count right then, right? Because mm-hmm. they ain't take that history of shot. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Yeah, Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Uh-oh. Chris Paul might get on two. That's what's up. Take it. CP3. Prime Chris Paul was different, bro. I swear. Yeah, he was. Show. Yeah, he was good. Though. Yeah, so you go with SB? Yeah, CP3. All right, Ox. B. Diddy. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yeah. Chris Paul. All right, Chris Paul takes number one. Check out Chris Paul. That's what's Anthony up. Davis. Anthony hey. Davis. Anthony Davis. Mm. Take, uh, take it. Who you got? 
David West. Yup. Good pick. Mm. Good pick. I'm going. <laughs> mm, damn, it just threw me off a little bit. Great pick. I'm going. Give me, give me Barry Davis. Forget it. Ox. The hell is going he on? Played, he played for the Hornets. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Bob, who you got? I can't get a troll pick in for round two. Let me get a pick. That's that, that's a that's a troll pick for real. Bob, I mean, he ain't gonna win over AD. Over. They go AD gonna get it. Uh, David West. Oh, well, maybe see, not. Now nah, look what happens. Okay, maybe not. That's not what do you, Mars. I'm. What do you mean? Look what happened, Mars. That's that's a that was a good pick. I like David West pick. I was gonna pick that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not arguing against you picking David West. I'm saying SB's Baron Davis pick because now I made David West tied with Anthony Davis. <laughs> so, so, so you think SB should have picked Anthony Davis? Yes, I would have picked. I, I think Anthony Davis is pretty Davis. clear, but Chill, to each got? his own. Anthony Davis. All right. See, that was, that, was, see that was too close. That was too risky. I had to make a heartbeat for a second, Mars. I had to make a heartbeat. There you go. No, nah, that was risky. Get nervous. All right, number three. We got – We so first we got Chris Paul. Then we got Anthony Davis. Who's number three, y'all? Nikola Meritich. <laughs> David West. SB? No, it's, it's on me? It's on me? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, on yeah. you, Tiki. Hold on, who who do they have number two? They had AD number two. AD yeah. Oh, okay. We'll go David West number three. D West. David West. Chill. Omeka Okapo. David West is number three for the New Orleans. Tim Pelican. Duncan unanimous. Yeah, we don't got to argue that. Is it, is it Tim Duncan right away? Yeah. You want a Mecca Okafor with David West? One of rookie of the year, yeah. Mecca Okafor, absolutely. Oh, yeah, man. It's big <laughs> David West, man. Yeah, it is. He was awesome. But y'all, I think you I, I think you give him the same I logic. School, I went to school with David West. Um, I went to prep school with David West, man. Come on, man. He was a monster, bro. He was. I All right, y'all. Uh, Tim Duncan is number one for the Spurs. Who's number two? I know. Who'd you say? Nah, I'm a pacifist, but if we get this list wrong, I will fight you. <laughs> I will find oh, you. I, <laughs> I will fight you. And I know some of you guys are six eight. I don't care. I'm gonna fight dirty. I'm gonna try to rip your sack off. Mm. Uh, oh. num- number <laughs> number two. Uh, the you admiral. The yeah. You going after the yeah. stack of stand? Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, I will Ooh. fuck you up. <laughs> hey, y'all make the right vote. Don't lose your sack today. So that's, that's two for the that's two for the admiral. Yeah. This boy out here ripping balls off, ain't he? <laughs> hey, I've done it before. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> Whoa. Who's it on? All right, it's on oh, ticket. ticket. Oh, okay. It's on me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, give me um. Give me uh for the Spurs. Give me uh. Stick it to sacks on the line right now. No, 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 no! I gotta go, David Robinson. I gotta go to Adam. Oh, All right, cool, cool, protecting cool, the jewels. Yeah. I was I was gonna pick somebody else, but once the the sack attack was on the line, I'm, girl, I'm cool on that. So uh, yeah, if, Duke, if, Duke, if Duke was in here, he'll pick Kalai. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't why well, ain't top three. I can tell you that. If who was in ticket? If Dookie was in here, he'll pick Kalai. <laughs> yeah. he'll, so y- he'll bring up the finals MVP. <laughs> he'll bring up he'll bring up how they had the Warriors down before Kalai got hurt. All of this. <laughs> so I I I figure I'm gonna no, okay, don't do that. that oh, shit. Don't be sack, be sack on the line, Oxley. Pick, pick wisely. <laughs> No, the sack's on the line for number three. Whoa. Dookie. <laughs> yeah. You never heard them call Bookie that? You ne- <laughs> no. <laughs> shout shout out, to Doodoo Draws. <laughs> hey, special shout oh, out with, to Doodoo Draws. So, with, so with, all, with all due respect, Joe, with all due respect, the, the Admiral should be number three. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. It's David Robinson. I'm nah, sorry. nah. Let me stop. Let me stop that shit. That's crazy. That's oh, crazy. Admiral, Admiral God, for sure, number bad. two. Let me cut it out. That's number. That's for sure. Oh, All right, chill. So you got the Admiral. 
Yes, I do. That's for sure. All right. That's for sure. Let me, let me stop. I, I got to get it back together. <laughs> focus, OG. Focus. Focus. I'm, I'm, I'm with y'all, y'all. I'm with y'all. Focus. All I'm, right. I'm here. Never. <laughs> This is the first. This is the first time we've had the one and two unanimous though. That's crazy. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure three should be unanimous as well. Y'all get your minds right. Now. All right, Mars. Who we got? Number three. This number three is about to be crazy too. Come on, Mars. Don't do it's, this. It's it's a few different directions it could go. It's no, between two reason. people. I know no, there is. Let's do a piece pirate. Uh, I'm going with George Gavin. Your Shout manhood is on the line, boys. Shout out to Manu Ginobili. Shout out to Manu Ginobili. Your manhood is on the line. One of the Man, greatest Mars, uh, Mars, shooting Mars. guards to ever play. George Gervin. Mars slipped some brandy in his tea this morning. I mean, George Gervin was probably better George, than Manu Ginobili. George Gervin is the man. He was, he was the man. Who you got, Ticket? I prefer Manu, though. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you got Ticket. <laughs> Ticket, who you got? I think you go. <laughs> for the third one, for the third one. Yeah. Oh, go, go with um, go with uh Tony Parker. Where do you live, Ticket? Oh, me and Ticket, me and Ticket <laughs> on the same wavelength. Look, I'm for the rest. That's what you said. Oh, it's yeah, it's, it's going to be a long summer, summer, I guess. All, so. all of us say, all of us say, Perry, you always just worried about Chicago. They warn you, so I'm, I'm pulling my Chicago car out for this. If you try to attack my sack, I'm picking. <laughs> Tony Park. Tony Park. We don't fight in Chicago, so I'm letting you know that down. Oh, oh. all right. You better check every corner for the next six months. So that's two. Time. That's two for Iceman, <laughs> two for Tony Parker in the yeah. first one. So you you say it can go many directions. The only direction it should go is south to Argentina. Give me Manu Ginobili. That's cool. Kawhi ain't gonna got. get no. Kawhi ain't gonna get no votes. Good. I know. pick Tony because even though even though Manu should have a Finals MVP, Tony got one. Ticket George Gurney. Manu's, Manu's, Manu's still better though. Yeah, Manu, Manu's still better. Like I don't care, I don't care who got finals. But Tony, when Tony got, Parker took over, the team, was NBA. like more valuable. I don't, don't care, I don't care who got all NBA. I don't care who got all. And they, and they sold Tony Parker out of finals MVP. I can make an argument. I can make an argument. I can make an argument. Tony should have won two finals MVPs. He should have won that. You could. He should have won that one in 2014. He should have won. He should have won the first. He should have won that one against LeBron. You can make an argument that Tony Parker should have four finals MVPs, and Manu Ginobili is still better. No doubt, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Neither of them I touched agree. George Gervin. Oh my god! Well, I think the way, not the way. I Tony prefer Manu Ginobili to all of these. Yeah, I'm with Chill. you. Hey, 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 pirate, pirate! Yeah. That that big ass finger roll ain't moving me. Why is it not moving you, yo? This dude, I think he finished second in the league in MVP. Even though it always went in, like that, yeah. Even though four, four times scoring champ, yeah, yeah. perennial uh, in, in, in MVP, MVP t- votes, like two or three times, second to to uh, to Doc, and yeah, he was he was yeah, doing stuff see, like blocking that. the ball, MVP, rebounding y'all, the ball. See, y'all talk, y'all talking about MVP but the, votes and, and this and that, right? But, but this the, but this segment, this segment right here, this segment right here shows why voting is invalid. Bro, I'm not talking about votes, accolades. <laughs> talking I'm talking about a six foot this seven whole, whole, shooting whole guard who can get his shot off from bro. anywhere on the floor. Well, look, I'm not, I'm not talking, I'm not talking about just the Spurs segment. I'm talking about this whole segment of voting. <coughs> Let me know that MVP votes don't mean shit. Yeah, Tony Paul, chill. Who you got? Tony, Paul. let's go, OG. Tony Paul, up. Paul. Yes, yes, he should have won. He should have. He's not even better than me. All right, whatever. Well. Hey, it's not uh, about who a better player about who who played. They played Apparently, it's team. about who the plays on the best team. Yeah, it's it's who, who plays on the best team. Team the whole time is clearly about who's better. Or what? Hey, hey, pirate, pirate, you got a lot of sex to hunt. I do, man. It's gonna be a long summer. It's gonna hey, be a long hey, summer. I'm about to have a summer. necklace after this summer. Pirate from hell. Sex is crazy. <laughs> necklace of sex is crazy. Hey, pirate, I, I had George Garvin just for the record. Oh, man, okay, okay, Ron. <laughs> oh, All right, y'all. Oh, um, no. Mark, you got to go? Hey, hold, hold, hold on for a second. Mars, why is it crazy? Tony Parker was making an all-pro team when Russell Westbrook and Chris Paul and, and Darren Williams and these dudes was running around in Western Conference when it was a nightmare. What are you talking about? And then when Tim Duncan, and then when Tim Duncan, hold on, wait, and then when Tim Duncan fell out, who was the who was the lead, who was leader of their team? Who was the best player on their team? And they were still competing for championship. It was not Ginobili, it was TP. When did Tim Duncan fall off? We could probably say Tim Duncan probably fell off around what, like, like, oh, 
maybe around that late nineteen. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no O. Mm-mm. TM, Tim TM, Duncan okay. Still, Tim Duncan was still elite. I'm saying 14. he was still elite in thirteen. But what you mean by elite? Like he wasn't like how he, he was. First, in the early he was first. He was first team All Pro in 2013. Okay, that's fine. But he wasn't Tim Duncan in early 2000. He still was elite though. That's the point. Okay, but it's still not the same. He was still better than Tony Parker. It was it was it was Tony. Right, I just I just got right, a thirty yeah. minute. I just was, got a thirty minute extension. It was never Tony's around. team. What? Wait, so, right, okay. I, I I got super chat, this, y'all. So we go. We agree to disagree. Yeah. yeah, let's agree to disagree. Yes. Uh, shout out, Big Said Gaming. Didn't say anything. He just sent some money through. Thanks, brother. J Man Too Smooth said, "Which." Which what if scenario leads to more rings? Jordan never retires, or Shaq and Kobe never split up? Never Shaq retires. and Kobe never split up because Jordan retired three times. So which one does he never retire? Yeah, right. <laughs> the, the pretty much the, the first one. Uh, well, Shaq and Kobe they, they, they expected Jordan to win eight. That's pretty much they said Jordan gonna win eight. No, nah, you don't. You don't. You don't get. You don't get to retire three yeah. times. I'm sorry, four times. So Shaq and Kobe. <laughs> yeah. That's what Shaq and Kobe. All right, winner sent the super chat through. We said, shout out to Ticket for the video about what Iggy said. I wanted to hear your opinion on what he said, Ticket. No, we spoke on that when you left out. We, we got that solution. All right, cool, cool. Dylan Sadun said the Australian team could give USA some trouble. <clears throat> I think that's the logic with all of these dudes. I mean, I, I think that, and we already went over this earlier, I think the USA, I think they're going to win the goal. I just think that it's going to be a lot more competitive than people think. Mm-hmm. Cakewalk. No narcotics said Can He better be a cakewalk. Man. Do you, you guys think we could talk hoops? No, nah, not during like the season. Nah. <laughs> Let's talk about mm-hmm. hairstyles. Lucky B East sent through an empty super chat, but shout out to Lucky B East. Thanks, brother. We'll take it's it. about damn time. Said, hold on, my boy Shaq is on the panel. Let's go. Shaq was in the house. He came through. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Random guy speaks. Said, would the NBA even let these players get out of their contracts to go over there? Does Saudi Arabia even have the league ready to go for for the playoffs? They have. The they players? have a league. Yeah, you talking about, bro? League. We talking about free agents, bro. League can't do nothing with a free agent. We talking about dudes free agents. Go, go ahead, go ahead, uh, Ron. Nate Richmond said, "Didn't Giannis say after he retired?" Yeah, I mean, he can retire as soon as his contract is up. If you want, mm-hmm. or just come play for the Bulls. You never know if that's young, old. We don't know how long is he gonna play? Lucky B East said the Saudis have an endless supply of money. He's not lying. Look at some of the projects they are doing. They build a ski resort in the desert. <laughs> that is crazy. They got the money. You do that? They do have some money. How the hell are you doing that? <laughs> Snow machines. Yeah, how the hell are you doing that? So. Stony Starks said Saudis bought the PGA. They definitely have the money. Yes, they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big said, hey, Ron, I got a bounce. With Shaq. All right, all right, chill. I got a bounce, y'all. I'll see you dudes tomorrow. Out. All right. Salute, OG. Big said, I agree with Shaq. Please move on. Jeez. <laughs> mm-hmm. Van Giovanni DJ Callis said, Welcome back, Shaq. Three Chain said, You guys are forgetting. This is tax free, 100% cash. Chase Richards said, Damo acting like people won't move for 200 mil, LOL. Yeah, I think a lot of people will. Shums said, can we move on, please? 30 minutes of hypotheticals. I must have missed this part with the Saudi Arabia to make a basketball league and like overpay everybody <laughs> money like they did with golf. Is that, that's uh, what I missed? Yeah, yeah, that, that, was, that was the discussion. Like we, were, we were talking about oh, anything that could happen. With I, am, am, so, I, am, I, am I mistaken? Am I mistaken or do we not – Spend half of our time on hypotheticals anyway. Like, uh, it just be like as soon as, 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 soon, as soon as somebody like gets disgruntled just, about something, all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is hypothetical. I don't want to talk about it. Like we do this shit all I, day. I don't, every I don't day. have a problem with most hypotheticals, but when the hypotheticals seem kind of dumb, I have a problem. It's all. It's all. It's always yeah, like, oh well, well. If this if this person went and got hurt, or if, or if this person went and got traded, or if this person went and got drafted here. 
That's all. I, that's most I sports conversations yeah. do devolve into some form of hypothetical. Right. So, more, yeah, so more, so, often, more often, and, I, and I, I use hypotheticals all the time. The hypotheticals yeah. I start losing me as well. What would he do in this era? Like, I don't care. Yeah, I'm yes. Not, I'm yes. not. I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed to hypotheticals. I feel the same way you do, Mars. Like once it goes a little too far, but at the same time, though, it's like it's hypothetical. Mm. So we started off too far. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. as, as soon as we went hypothetical, this shit was. It's it's no longer factual anyway. So problem I mean, with hypotheticals it's, it's not, is it's not, hard it's for us. two people to stay in the same right. Exactly. Right. Right. Now, now, now we're all now we're all just using it's our like, imagination. So yeah, it's like, yeah. Now, two know, people yeah, are thinking two different things and they're communicating yeah. to each other as if they're talking about the same thing when they're not. Right. But more but more often than not, that's what most that's what it turns into. Mm-hmm. And that's not just on it PC. Is. That's on that's on uh first Any, take. That's on all yeah. of the sports shows. It's all it's mostly hypothetical. Yeah. I hate people use hypothetical as a fact. That's what I hate. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. yes. Lonnie Williams said, "Would you rather sign to Detroit or OKC for four years, or Dubai for way more, just for a year?" It's an easy choice for me. I'd rather, I'd rather live in Dubai, so I just pick Dubai any. My my thing is my I, I don't have no choice. I have zero choice in situations like that. My mama would kill me, so I'm gonna go get that money and then I'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, for a year, a year ain't up to four years. Go ahead, yeah. For a year, yeah. What? I'd rather live in Dubai than Oklahoma anyway. No, that's oh, a fact. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I'm getting the, paid extra and I'm living in the Dubai. The U.S. slander. Yeah. They got some good barbecue. Uh, uh, well, Dubai, uh, and Dubai, I'm sure Dubai right, has some excellent not, chefs. We're, we're yeah, not going to they, Oklahoma. they do. Yeah. Oklahoma's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Oklahoma's fun too. <laughs> <laughs> First person ever. <laughs> So Quay White said the NBA superstars already make enough money. They have they enough money. They have generational wealth already. Once you get to a certain level, more money doesn't matter. Whoever uh, like, double, 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 doubling your whole bank account matters. No matter. Yes, yeah. I would say no three hundred mil person, matters no, to pretty no, much everybody. If no you rich made three hundred million and someone offers to double that, that matters. If yeah. you made one billion and someone offers to double that, no, that matters. Nobody, nobody, oh, no millionaire ever said that. Why do you think Floyd? Still doing exhibition fight because it's an easy bag that can easily. Well, there, get. There, take there, easy there, I mean, money. that's so. But that that is circumstantial though. So for certain instances, like if a lot of times I look at contracts where it's like, okay, I can make two hundred mil here or one eighty here. You know what I'm saying? Like at that point, it's like, okay, I could take the one eighty if it's in a better place. But when you're talking yeah. about going from one eighty and they're doubling you up to three sixty, like that's way for different. a and year. Nobody, and nobody's <laughs> turning that money down. Yeah. Like you can say, unless unless it's like a. It's like extremely dangerous or something, or you might not make it home. Life type shit. Like okay, sure. yeah. But yeah. yeah, but if but if you if you know everything is everything is copacetic, like I don't I don't think anybody's turning that money down. With that being mm-hmm. said, some there is such thing as you know being greedy, gluttonous. You know, that's, yeah. That's a that's a deadly sin. So you know, it's a difference being greedy and being smart. Somebody doubling your bank account for one year of basketball. Yeah, go yes. ahead and knock that out and come right back. Make home, sure, right? but make sure you read that fine print. Yeah. Yeah. The sure. ones with the super chat said, "Until the FIBA World Cup means something, no one will care." It does mean something. They need to change that basketball, man. It's disorienting. Chase Richards said, "Mars is wrong. Saudis invest in esports at a loss too." I never said they don't lose money, but you're talking about giving people four hundred million, multiple people for a league that won't make one percent of that back. That's mm. that's the difference between losing and bankrupting a league. Like, yeah. Put it on vinyl. Said the politics is why people turn down those deals. I don't know enough about. I politics. don't know. It's, hard to yeah. it's only political when when the powers that be realize they're losing money, so then they make it. They they try to you know they try to demonize you and say, oh, he's going over there. That's blood money and all types of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, then, and then next thing you know, they're in bed with the same guys they told you not to get in bed with. Yeah, it just mm-hmm. seems to me like the West always have an issue with the Middle East politics. Uh, from what? Because, so. like, the, the station I work at is they talk politics and news stuff all the time. So, pretty much what they usually do, they try to use it against is like you going against the home side where you, we might have a war with this side, or everything like that. So, they try to play it like you supposed to just stick to everything all America because we not getting the money off the profit of it. Everything is all about money. So, if they feel like you're bringing revenue to the other side, that's it. Hmm. That's the card they play. Smoy six says, "So what's the difference between players getting a bunch of tattoos after they are drafted?" 
They just got. They just got. They got to play to the level of their tattoos. If you get full body tat, you got to at least average twenty two points a game. Oh yeah, hey. But if you yeah, get, yeah. get arms, arm sleeve. Yeah, if, you, if you get no. an arm sleeve, he that's, he a, that's like eighteen up. seven too much. seven. But right. then if you get like one minor tat, you can average a solid twelve points a game on decent. Shit. Gotcha. You get your. You get your. It just depends on the level of your tattoo to decide how much you have to average. No, Mars, you gotta get your rep up in your VC to unlock those abilities from your skills from playing. Exactly. So if you're a top two pick, you get more VC because you're a higher pick, so you can unlock more tattoos. But if you're like a Hall of Fame tattoo pick, badge, yeah. If you're a twenty seventh pick with no badges, like, yeah, with you, no you badges. got no badges. You got no badges, so you can't do. You that. got no badges, man. No badges, no tattoos. I can't believe you started off the show talking about hair dye. No, that that was <laughs> and it's AVR. just a little bit of purple. It's just like a <laughs> yeah. Avion Plummer said, "For the first time, I agree with Ticket. The elites in Saudi do be throwing money on leagues that lose money as well. I'm in the military. It's known." They ain't doubling yeah. the football player's salary to give to basketball players when basketball's not as popular. Out like they're just not. Yeah. There are levels to this. These old three one three said they did it for golf. You just need a certain. You just need certain big names to switch over. I would say Mars That's overseas, right. but people don't realize this. Basketball is only really like super big here. Basketball does globally. Basketball does not compare to soccer at all. It's not not close. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't compare to, compare to soccer. It doesn't compare to soccer, but it's definitely growing. And I think it's growing. growing. So I it do. Growing. I, I do think. I do think that the, in the Europe, Saudis, man, I do, it's still not growing largely. No, soccer. it's not growing large. It's, 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 I mean, yo, it's, it's, start, it's, start, it's starting to grow everywhere. But what, yeah, I, what I'm is. saying. What I, so what I'm yeah. saying is, just to get to my point, I do believe that the Saudis will throw some money away. Now I, I agree with you, Mars. They're not gonna, you know, break. You know, go too crazy. But I believe they'll throw some money away because they're playing the long game. They realize yeah. basketball is going to yeah. get somewhere. And right. So, so I, I believe they might be like, you know what? In 20, in 20 years, in 20 years, we could have a top five league, a top, you know, a top four, yeah. top three league. So I could see them investing and in trying to and trying to get some NBA guys over there. I, I don't think that's crazy. But like Mar said, it just I won't be the going to get somebody 500 away. million. Yeah, it just it won't yeah. be the superstar straight. But they did the same thing with football before they got Ronaldo and Neymar. They were getting Vincent mm -hmm. Abubakar. They mm -hmm. were just getting players who were playing in Europe who were good, but they weren't great. And they were giving them extra money. So, yep. like, you might see a Nikola Vucevic get a bag and go over there. Cool. Mm. You might see who's another. You might see a Bojan Bogdanovic get a bag, go over there. Cool. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to see Kevin Durant. Like, that's not going to happen. But nah, but not too expensive, years. Morris. He's too expensive. They can't. I'm just money. saying, like, you'll get good players who aren't <laughs> superstars. They'll be like the first ones to go. That's You're like a some bonus or something, you know. Yeah, hey, all the or, or a De'Aaron Fox. Yeah. 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 Oh, now y'all buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, see what's, I see what's going on here. Keegan Murray. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, to all the Saudi princes, if you guys are watching right now, um, we will assemble a PC team and go play in you guys' league. Uh, Mars will probably start at point guard, uh, ticket at center, minutes. Ox power forward, chill at the two, and then shit for shits and giggles, we'll throw low at the three. Um, and uh, we'll we, we go undefeated with that squad. Stop playing. <laughs> I'll, I'll then, 16 uh, assist a game, but it's cool. Also, too, um, we can if you guys want to sponsor the Ox versus. Ticket boxing match, we well we'll pull up too. Um, but keeping it moving, random guy speaks said. This nigga turned into Don King. Yeah, <laughs> facts. Don facts. King. Facts. <laughs> I'm taking sixty percent of the purse too. <laughs> uh, what, I, what, I, said, what I got to get my lips swole for? <laughs> uh, you, you, I mean, you got bigger fish to fry. You got somebody Better. looking for your sack right now. Yo, not just looking. I know your right. general region, Bob. I'm gonna I'm gonna pin it down. <laughs> hey pirate, just oh my god, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Super chat yeah. Can you down? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> random guy <laughs> speaks said there is something to what ticket is saying. Saudi Arabia is sport <laughs> sport washing or sport watching. Either way, go sport sport washing a lot of their money. Sport washing. Oh, it's like money, money, money laundering. Yeah, yeah, money laundering. However, ticket is going way too far. They aren't paying NBA players, pro soccer player money. That's the whole point I was making. That's wow, it. random. Accus accusing all the sides of money, money laundering on national YouTube television? <laughs> oh, you better go on national sack, YouTube brother. television. <laughs> hey, if, you always, if, you go, if you go say somebody did something, put allegedly in front of it because they can't sue you. Shit, they're gonna do more than that. that I, I thought mm -hmm. that somebody didn't somebody just say that was ISIS or something. All right, man. Slim uh, 21 right, right. said Darvin Ham, right? Want to be Cisco, oh, huh? that was Darvin Ham. That was Darvin Ham, right? 
C note the one and only said, "Do you guys not see live golf leading to live NBA?" No, <laughs> not really. Oh, wow. Not yeah. Maybe like 10 years, 20 years from now, maybe we'll see what Shit. happens. Hey, I need to go over there. They need some coaches in Saudi Arabia. Shit. That's a fact. Mm. Shit, they, 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 they on the way up. They need coaches and boyfriends. You feel me? The princes? No, the princesses. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that, that's <laughs> a league out there. So they yeah, Ron, you, yeah, you don't want to mess why, around, that's why, that's why I'm not going nowhere mm. with Ryan. He go, man. <laughs> yeah, even talking about you getting locked Is up. Is that so, why? Yeah. Oh, I, Hey. I'll go I'll go a lot of places with you, Rob, but not the Middle East, but I'm cool. You, mm-hmm. yeah, you better read. He's going to be, he gonna be, he gonna be, he be, he be over there snatching, snatching their veils off. Like, let me look up under here. What you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, man, Fifth Flow said Kareem is highly regarded as the t- the greatest player of all time. But is he is he one of the five best pure I mean, ball players he, of all time? Is there a oh, hooper he's... hooper? If you put him on a if you put him on a street street ball court, is he better than Carmelo? No reason why he's not talking about it. I mean, but if you're going off like you talking about pure hooper, no, if you're talking about pure hoop off skill, then no, we talking about pure hooper from like everything he did from like no, nah, we don't care about skill, skill. That's no, no, asking. that matters. Asking, Kareem is the only player who has been he was the best an athlete. Every, Kareem he's is asking the only about skill. I don't think they realize that. Asking, he's asking about skill. He's asking about Hezzy Tweed. Kareem, Kareem has skills too, though. Don't do that. Yeah, that's cool. He ain't just different there. skills. So he's the only player that you can yeah, say he, he was the they, best they, player at every level of basketball he played. He was the no, best well then, player. no. no. Kareem was extremely <laughs> highly Durant, skilled. Kobe, Kareem, Kareem was definitely highly skilled. Don't do that's that. What Kareem, that's Kareem, Kareem, Kareem was highly skilled. He had footwork like a ballerina. He could run like a gazelle. Kareem Abdul-Zabar was, a, yes, was a far above his time. Ahead of his time, I mean. I'm sorry. Just He's a big man. He don't need to have a hezzy tween in his package. He don't. Yeah, but the thing about it is, a lot of these big men actually <laughs> do have that. They just don't yeah. do that. They can't do it. Well, Embiid has a hezzy tweet. I mean, Wilt they, they better. can't. They, Wilt, they can't. Wilt they better. Tween, they slowed in them up. <laughs> hey, man, you got the hezzy tweet. Pop skills said best backcourt of all these. You got pro- of all these in their prime. You got Nash and Booker, Kyrie and Spidey, Mitch, Dame and B Roy. Russ and SGA, who you guys? Oh, take? I saw that. Nash from Booker. Yeah, that's the this a picture. That's a this a picture, man. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I'm gonna tell you like this: Dame, Dame, and B. Roy had these boys having nightmares. Yeah, I'm that's who I got, and it's not yeah, even. I'm not even thinking about it. Who you say, Mars? I said Nash and um, Booker, but Dame and B. Roy would be second. Yeah, I'm Dame and B. Roy is bullying you. As me, pirate. Dame and B. Roy. I'm take Dame and B. Roy. Uh, probably the Na- Nash and Booker. Nash and Booker is good too, though. That's I mean that's that's really good. I would like Nash and Booker. So if we're talking about like they're duos, but they're on a team together. If we're just, if we're talking about like two on two, then I easily got Damon B. Roy. But if we're talking about like in a team setting, I think Nash and D. Book would have been it's, great together. It's easy to build a team. Amazing to watch, bro. It's easy mm-hmm. to build a team around Nash and Booker than anybody else. I agree. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I think it's a lot easier to build around them too. If you guys could speed this up, because I got an Arsenal game to watch, so. Marquivian Black said, "My humblest apologies, Mars. You were right at work. Nice. Mars was right about something along the way." <laughs> Wildcard ninety five said, "Lotto is greater than Ice Spice." That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. No, no, idea. Idea. <laughs> I don't know who no idea who either one is. Do, do your I'm gonna be honest. I don't care. I just need to get to my Arsenal game. So greatest. Greatest, greatest with the super chat said chill love hashtag all pro Kobe retired with the most ever. That's a great point. And on that mm-hmm. note, I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for having me. Pirate, you're good. Oh, so good. SB. We know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I, I, I just, I just put it behind here. I just put it behind here. <laughs> uh, we got a new member, City S. City S, appreciate City. you for coming through. Dre go crazy, City. new member. It's Khalil TV pulled up. Unapologetic Opinion is a new member. Zion Spara is a new member. Steezo313, mm-hmm. became a new member today. Uh, Dub Nation 101 is a new member. Pop Skills became a new member. And Flexile Loner. Is a new member as well. Shout out to all the new members. Welcome mm-hmm. to the party. Um, we are about to wrap things up. 
you know where to find us. You know where we'll be tomorrow, but you don't know what we're going to talk about. We'll see. <laughs> that was very mysterious.